name is Carly Morris. I was an athlete for Alton Central School. My favorite sport was basketball. Had great coaches um, all the years through um, who really taught me integrity and loyalty and trust. One of my um, best memories of playing basketball in high school was um, the summer of my um, sophomore year. I was chosen along with some other New Hampshire athletes to go overseas and play um, in Holland um, at a college campus over there. It was exciting, nerve-wracking all at the same time. This jersey is meaningful to me um, because this is what I got to wear representing USA um, as a high school student. It was an amazing experience. If I didn't have sports to fall back on, I mean, who knows where I would have, you know, ended up, what direction I would have taken. It seems like leaders were destined to be so. Born with confidence, blessed with talent, graced with wisdom. That's how they might seem, but it's not how they're made. Leadership takes practice and discipline and critical thinking. It's not a gift, it's a choice, and it starts here. Decide to lead as an Army officer. soccer uh, since I was about five and track and field middle school through high school. This is my varsity letter for soccer uh, with my pin. Sports was everything. I was very shy and timid. I don't think without sports I would have gained the confidence that I do now. But it taught me uh, patience. You had to be patient. You had to practice and practice. You wanted to get that goal or wanted to get to the finish line before everyone else. We've got our, my middle school and high school have broken records. The first one here is the 200 meter. I broke this in 2009, so my freshman year. And it has my time. And then the next one that we have is the mile. This was also a freshman year and the 10 to go along with it. Huge impact in my life, learning that you're gonna fail before you succeed. We all need medical care, expert medical care. That's why you need Convenient MD. Our state-of-the-art facilities give you access to leading local physicians and medical teams seven days a week. When you need medical care, it's not just about being there. It's about raising the bar. It's about peace of mind. Our focus is you. Because that's the way it should be. Convenient MD, putting quality back into healthcare. All right, good afternoon. Here we are, 2023 Division II Indoor State Championships. We've been underway with field events for a little while here now, but we're getting ready for the running events. Um, we're brought to you by Runner's Alley, which supports the entire website, but our meat sponsor is Arthur Thomas Properties. You need some property they're the people to go see i guess they're on the coast first up for the day is the girls four by eight uh, 100 meter relay uh sitting in first place actually is my very own team scenic this has never happened before number two Bo, lebanon number three co brown number four merrimack valley number five hanover number six conant number seven and number eight is hollis brookline yeah, they're, uh, they're ranked first, but it was a little iffy there for a second whether they were going to run at yeah. all. <laughs> we were looking around, and uh, we, we have two freshmen on the team, Phenoms, and never having been an indoor meet or anything like that, they were outdoors when they were supposed to be indoors. They've got them lined up, getting ready to go. We, uh, we are ranked number one. We did make some substitutions. We should still be pretty competitive. Um, but we got 
one of our girls is elected to run the 3K and the 15, and we didn't think four by eight would bode well for all of those. Though I'm in looking at it, uh, I do see Maya Broch, who's running the 3K and 15, and she's out there looking like leg three, four, bow. So some people got double duty and triple duty, and as we saw in last meet, um, Isabel McIntyre, four by eight, thousand, fifteen hundred, four by four. Yeah, she she running, won the thousand. She's running everything. She never got off the track. Yeah. <laughs> Warm up, cool down all day. That's all you do. Yeah, and well, it went pretty well. It did. <laughs> well, I'm Mike Smith. We got Rory here. Yeah. Rory Curran. Goes by uh, all kinds of different names. Superman. My life. Joey. Yep. Joey Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Joey Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Back for D2. Back for D2. He's here with me, D1 as well. Up from Lowell. You Lowell. Yep. Rolling with my boy Landon. Actually, I don't want to call him my boy anymore. <laughs> Your boy. Or before even. <laughs> Bringing him to the line. Giving him final instructions. Do you run any four by eights? Yeah, I think in my underclass years, I ran a lot of four by eights. Because by the time you were in your upper class years, you were running yeah. individual events. Yeah, I was doing more. We're contending stuff. for those. So yeah. But All right, here we go. <laughs> Bob Gidiari giving us the start. And they're off. Bow to the front. We're slotted in second at Messinic. Cole Brown. So looks Bo like. really taking it out. Yeah. Yeah, they're way out in front. Busting it open early. All right, Bo at 15. Like 35. Yeah. 36 Faster than five minute pace. Rest of the field through in 39. That lead has actually starting to close down a little bit. Cole Brown know. leading the attack there. Then it's Messinic, Conan. She's definitely Hanover. easing up a little bit. Yeah. Cole First Brown's race of the day, it's pretty easy to get excited. Yeah. Still looks good, though. Yeah, 276. It's, it's hard. Like, they're the leadoff leg Conan, of the first on. event at the state championships. Yeah. You know, you're, you're going to get pretty hyped up. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You're setting the tone. So, Cole Brown's closing that up. And it's Lebanon passing Conan, Messinic, and Merrimack Valley. So we're going to have right. one to go here. Cole Brown's right on bow, 158. And Lebanon, Conan, Messinic, Merrimack Valley. Bo trying to an extend with 100 to go. Cole Brown having worked hard to get there. We got one of the Brochu twins. I'd say it's Dila. They're through 800 and 238. So your top three. Bo. Cole Brown, Lebanon, the scenic passing in the straight there, handing off to Aaron O'Shea. I've got twins that are hard to tell apart, as they are identical. 
I got a, I got a few twins in this race. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so your top three have quite the lead. Yep. Bo, Cole Brown, Lebanon, the Phoenix coming on up. 38, 39! The only way I can tell the twins apart is they have a different arm carriers when they run. And if they're wearing different shoes, but they don't do that <laughs> very often for me. One of them's got their shirt tucked. Yeah. The other one doesn't. But how do you know which one that is? Unless they do it all the time. You gotta ask. Yeah. At some point in their career, I'm hoping that I will stop having to ask. <laughs> At some point I'll know. The Bo really Co Brown. Much. Bo Co Brown, Lebanon. Messenix up on Lebanon now. Merrimack Valley. Wallace Brookline's catching up to Conan. Cole Brown's catching up to Bo. Cole Brown's making the pass. Making the pass. And Messenic and Lebanon are creeping up on both of those. Bo looks like she's feeling it. Definitely tying yep. up a little bit. Bo Brown's rolling now, about to catch the back of the pack. So hopefully this doesn't mess anything up for handoffs. There's still two legs left. Oh, this is going to be tight. So Co Brown taking it first. 522. Maya Broche, who's going to be taking third leg. Yeah, they pulled out a decent lead yep. on that leg. All right. But I, would, ex I would expect it. Maya to close that. I would too. She, this is the way we've seen her run it all season long. So Cole Brown is out with a pretty substantial lead, but Maya Brochu is ripping down the back stretch. Yeah, that lead gonna, is gonna 50 close meters, down pretty fast. But, but I think she, I think she was 80 meters down when she took it. So, so now it, what's Co Brown, Bo Lebanon, Messina. Brown still in the lead. Maya Brochu has closed it up a little. Cole Brown doing an excellent job staying out. Then it's Lebanon, Messenic, Merrimack Valley. Glad I'm not the lap counters on this one. We have some lapping we'll going on. We'll see if Co Brown can close this out. Yeah, I would not be in, want to be in charge of the laps right now. <laughs> <laughs> so third leg with one to go. And Brochu's still catching. Brochu is. Then Lebanon. Then Messenic. The gap back to Valley hasn't changed. Yeah, Bo's got a, about a straightaway now. And the pro anch Bo anchor's really good. 
Lebanon anchors their high jumper, I think. Mm -hmm. Cobra anchor is still pretty strong as well, yep. though. So it's a pretty, then, pretty big gap to, uh, to close for, yeah. for one leg. So I guess got, got Caitlin, Caitlin O'Shea from the Scenics on our anchor, and she's super solid, but we're not clawing that back. Bo looks like they're going for it. So we have Co Brown, Bo, Lebanon, that Merrimack Valley. The Scenic's about to pass Merrimack Valley. See, the anchor for Bo looks real smooth right now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So does Co Brown, so. Yep. I don't think she's going to be able to do too much. She's got 40 meters, so yeah. that's pretty easy to defend. Yep. Lebanon's actually moving on Bo a little bit. Basically, tape to tape. Yes. Co Brown. So Merrimack Valley going through with two to go. That's f their fifth. Co Brown in first with one to go. And she'll stay out, I think. That's 40 meters inside of 200. That's pretty hard to close up. Bowen second, Lebanon in third. Scenic in fourth. Merrimack Valley coming through with one lap to go in fifth. And after that gets a little messy. Man, Bo's closing. Bo is closing oh, wow. really wow. hard. <laughs> wow. But 1047 is going to do it for Co Brown. Wow. 10.47.59. That was kind of oh, a sneaky yeah. last lap there. <laughs> 58. <laughs> Lebanon coming through. 11.02. 11.02.55. The scenic finishing up. The 11.13 or so. 11.13.54. Merrimack Valley coming through in fifth. 11.22.78. So it's showing Hanover not starting. If you don't start the relay, that doesn't affect your individuals. Those top three were pretty in lock for yep. the whole race. All right. Looks like it'll be Conan in, in sixth. 12.03.38. And Hollis Brookline, 12.04. All right, up for the boys. We got Sauhegan, Pelham, Milford, Co Brown, Lebanon, Muscoma Valley, Hollis Brookline, Hanover, and Conan. Sauhegan comes in with an 840. Pelham second with 853. I know that I saw uh, Sauhegan not enter kids in places where they could, so I think they're out to do something. Definitely win this. State records 801, division records 819, so I'm not sure those are in jeopardy. Milford to the lead. 
And they're practically single file. Milford, Sauhegan, Pelham, Cole Brown, Mascoma. Hollis coming up on the outside. Conant, Lebanon, and Hanover. Yeah, I feel like that division record's doable today. It's just whether or not it's worth it to rip right, it hard. Right, right. 32 for the opening lap. 208 pace. And they are single file. Six, 64. Hmm. No. Another 32. Sauhegan's so creating he, a gap. Yeah, Sauhegan's saying, okay, let's go. Sauhegan, Pelham, Cole Brown, Milford. Looks like Lebanon passing Milford. Yeah, Cole Brown's working their way up. Yep. Seems like they... 134. Cole Brown would love to get this thing started with some big points. We've got big points in all, all the distance races for sure. Yeah, they're having a pretty good second half of this. Yes, first they leg. are. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting how they play it with obviously Aiden as a strong right. anchor. 206. Just, so they picked it up over that. So, so Hegan has about a three second lead. Cole Brown's cutting into it a little bit. Two thirty-seven. Is that thirty-three? Uh, it's a thirty-one. Cole Brown, I think. Cole Brown going to the lead. Cole Brown, Sauhegan, Pelham's climbed on board. Then it's Lebanon, Milford, Hollis Brookline. Another three-man race, a three-team race. Pelham to the front. Interesting, Aiden Cox on anchor. A lot of untucked shirts. <laughs> Flapping in the breeze. Where are you an untucked shirt kind of guy? No. Gotta tuck in the shirt. Pelham, Cole Brown, Sauhegan. Pelham in the lead with Hanover to chase into only the second. Oh exchange. no! Pelham just tripped oh. on the uh, on the barrier. Oh, on the outside just corner. Got back up. Oh man! Wow! Opens the door big time for Cole Brown here. Still Yikes! Leads off in third, but that's unfortunate. And their guy just took off. Yeah, it looked like he just clipped the inside rail there and went down. Oh. I mean, so they're, they're still in it. Around. Yeah, no, they're just passing Cole Brown now. But, you know, they, they were going to have a, a kind of a decent lead into that handoff. Yep. And now they're right in the pack, so. Sauhegan's. Sauhegan so was picking the, top. Up the pace. Yeah, they were the top guys. So Hegan, Pelham, about five meters back to Cole Brown. Looks like Milford next. I guess we'll see what kind of work Aiden Cox has to yeah. do. 
I would assume he was hoping for not too much, but yeah, knowing Aiden too, he's not going to run it too <laughs> easy. Like, what's the sense? Yeah, I think it'll be interesting how they play it with him being in two more events today. Right. Yeah. It is kind of a question of like, you know, do is they want to send him or not? And also whether or not he listens. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I think Aiden definitely wants to win, oh, obviously, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. But they might Always. just go run for second or third and get points. Yeah, I mean, like, he's obviously very competitive, but it's also a question of, like, is it worth the risk pushing that hard to win this event, you know? So Sal Egan's leg three has just opened up on the back. He's put seven meters between him and Pelham. Pelham's working hard to get back. Milford's working hard to get to Cole Brown. So Egan's gonna have a couple second lead. Nice last lap by Sal Egan. Right, exactly 10 second gap back to Cobrown. That's a lot of and seconds. the Milford, Milford banker took off. Sauhegan's anchor is no joke, though. No. And he, Pelham had to work to close that back up. Yeah, that was a pretty big first lap from him right up to the back of Sauhegan. And it looks like now he's just going to sit on him. Which was a pretty good play there. Aiden going around Milford. So what, 30 meters, I want to say. Yeah. With two laps to go. The Hollis Brookline stepped in between Sauhegan and Pelham. That works great for Sauhegan. Because the Hollis Brookline guy is a lap down. And Sauhegan's starting to stretch away. I Having think he's going to A little bit of interference it. helps. Here we go, one lap to go. Eight minutes on the clock. Aiden in third. I know whatever he's being told is not to try to chase the front. Yeah, well, it looks like he's behind. slowed up the last yeah, It looks few. like he's just motoring along. So Hegan's gonna take this. Be off the record, but solid run. 8:33 and change. Not a bad run. 8:33.96. Pelham 8:38.01. Go Brown 8:41.67. Milford 8:43.08. It's interesting in both races, the girls went like 17 seconds faster than anybody else's run this year. Yeah. And then the boys went 21 seconds faster than anybody's run. So those are both pretty, uh, pretty fast races. Yeah. I think part of it is there's just not very many four by eights. So yeah. Once you score your qualifying time, I don't know that you worry too much about it again. Yeah, especially where in the four bay the seating doesn't really matter, matter at all. So, matter of fact, I almost think you're better off being further out. Yeah, stay out of the mayhem right off the bat. Yeah, as long as you're in it, then. <laughs> right. So Lebanon fifth, nine fifteen thirty. Hollis Brookline sixth, nine fifteen thirty four. So pretty tight there. Muscoma coming in seventh, nine thirty three fifty eight, and Conant nine thirty three six two. And over. Finishing right now at 
So that, that takes care of our initial preliminary stuff. They're gonna start setting things up for the hurdles. They'll run the trials there, and there'll be a little bit of a break, and we'll run the 3K, and that'll really start nonstop action on the track. For this, they'll end up running the men first um, for the hurdles uh, through the trials, and then the girls' hurdles. Boys dash, girls dash. And the reason for that is so that when they start up the finals, the hurdle heights will already be set. You don't have to mess with those twice. Uh, and it'll go girls hurdles, boys hurdles, dash, dash, and then on to the girls 3,000. So they're rearranging things there, resetting the finish line taking the rail off the inside so we can utilize more lanes. This is pretty cool. I wish I had this up during the race. I just checked uh, Lancer timing. They had live 800 splits during uh, the relay. That would have been know, pretty handy. I know, yeah, I know going back, I love that that's what's happening these days. So you can go back and check to see what your legs ran and everything. Yeah, now you can't so. lie about your time anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? You're the slow one. <laughs> no, in, in, in a 4 by 8 I swear, I swear I broke two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no matter what, everybody that runs 4 by 8 somehow runs faster than they do in yeah, the straight 8. what's up so with that? They'll say it's the running start. I think it's... Uh, the measurement of where the, their 800 yeah. started and where it ended. <laughs> 800 meters are supposed to be 800 meters, but. Also on with us, but still a little laconic right <laughs> now, is uh, Guilford's Patrick Andini. Fresh off uh, Nordic season. You still got more Nordic? Yeah, we go end of March, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have any snow to ski on? A little bit, enough. <laughs> enough. Luckily, up north, there's still a good amount. Well, actually, it's kind of funny because we're down in the south part of the state. We got more snow than they got up here. Yeah. We like up more Mount Washington-ish. <laughs> yeah, we happen to be at an elevation that when the weather comes in, it's just usually mm. cold enough it drops off snow yeah. more than everywhere else. I mean, as much as we enjoy the snow, for everybody trying to run and train, it's it works out. All right, setting up the hurdles. I just had one of my eight meter runners come by, <laughs> telling me that she didn't run that great a race. I don't know if she realizes I have it out here on TV that I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Said she might have gone out a little hard, but. All right, the fastest split of that four by eight was a 204.9. 249. Who was it? So he did. It, it was Aiden at yeah. the fastest split. I figured he had to have close to the fastest split because he made up. I was going to say Sauhegan's third leg. <coughs> uh, Sauhegan's third leg ran a 209. Um, he made it look fast, though. Yeah. <laughs> <They're>, um, <laughs> That's more important. Yeah. Their first leg was a 207, and their last leg was a 206. Pretty close splits. So Patrick, I heard that uh, having done everything in Division Three, you're switching to hurdles, long jump, <laughs> and pole vault. Is, yeah, is there um, any truth to that rumor? I yeah, just, I'll I be Dick Halfleet this year. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, yeah. Who needs to keep running? Well, you just did. Go. You did kind of screw yourself over, didn't you, by doing. Uh, 
16, 8, and 32. Like, how do you stop doing the 16, 8, and 32 when you want it as a sophomore and a junior? Yeah, I mean, at this point, just keep going and try to get the yeah, triple, yeah, yeah. triple. Yeah, I like that, yeah. I mean, as much as chasing records is fun, I think having the the title and the team points is pretty important. Yep. All right, here's a cool uh, tidbit. For the girls 4 by 8 the winner is Co Brown, ran yep. 240, 242, 242, 242. Wow. Wow. That, that, that's pretty good. And probably didn't hurt uh, using that 240 when you've got three 242 people behind you. Here we go. Got caught off guard. That Henderson, was Cole Henderson, 17. yeah. 864, Lamontage from Lebanon, 905, Haddock, Guilford, 908. Colby from Conan, 915. So keep an eye on that 915 number as we'll see who gets into the next. Wallace from Merrimack Valley, 946. Lee from Cobrown, Brown, 956. Servasco, Milford, 10. 30 and Aguiar Wang from Hanover 1049. Second heat, we got Owen Pisinski of Sauhegan, David Tripp Belmont, Michael Reynolds of Merrimack Valley, Cole Ahern of Plymouth, Eden Powell Hanover, James Post Conval, Caden Krupnik Guilford, and Michael Wainwright from Kingswood. The state record is uh, obviously Billy Powell, Powers 234. Uh, Division II, 249, Damal McFadden. Not a bad time at all. This heat, fastest we have is uh, Ahern, 883. So when you say 734 and 883, that kind of tells you how fast Billy Powers was. I believe New England champ. Went to Nationals, I think finished third. So that's going to be a tough one to beat. Yeah, I don't see anything <laughs> happening to that today. No. Maybe down, maybe we tilt the track a little bit, get it going downhill. <laughs> a little gravity playing the role. So they're called to the blocks. Billy Powers was a great high jumper, too, if I remember. Yeah. Here we go. It's a, a Hearn from Plymouth. And Aiden Powell from Hanover. We're pretty tight. They're three hundredths apart. We got a Hearn, 868. Powell, 877. Reynolds, 913. Post. 936. I think we said 915 from the first team, right? Yep. So we know that the first three in this heat made it through. I'm not sure if Post, he's going to be close. So they're lowering them and moving them back. This next heat of the girls, uh, we have Elena Tramp of Muscoma Valley. Adelaine, you know that one? I know she's from Belmont. Oh, yeah. Adelaine. <laughs> Adelaine T from Belmont. <laughs> Aaron Cardi of Oyster River. Reese Nicolosi of Pelham. Maddox Lovely of Newport. Chloe Creer of Pelham. Victoria Leak of Merrimack Valley. And Emma Soares of Sanborn. Reese Nicolosi is. Sitting there with a 9.00. And Maddox, lovely, of Newport, 9.23 in the middle of your track. Nine flat, the state records, 8.01 by Betsy Garnick. Vision two records, 8.41 of Ginny LaValle. Both of those records, 10 years old or more. All right, we got the... Uh Final results of the boys' hurdle prelims. 
Um, so it's going to be Henderson, Ahern, Powell, Lamontagne, Haddix, Reynolds, Colby, and Post. So Post did make it. <laughs> Checking the hurdles now. start. It's like Nicolosi. Ooh. Nicolosi, Pelham, 911. Cardi from Moister River, 925. Lovely from Newport, 938. Creer from Pelham, 969. Leak of Merrimack Valley, 1017. Tramp, 10. 76, 1096 of Soares, and Belmont, 1252. But she went down hitting a hurdle. Second heat, Sierra Lignos, uh, Portsmouth Christian, Cara Sista of Goffstown, Zoe Wall of Pembroke, Caitlin Bustle of Newmarket, Natalie Sicard of Co. Brown, Samantha Tertal of Pelham, Heidi D. Mambrio of Campbell and Ashley Sanderson of Guilford. Nine oh four by Caitlin Bussell. The top time in this heat. Landon Zero. Ace Hurdle crew, Landon Valancourt, add that to his resume. Most number of person most, here we go. Bustle out front. Tagged a hurdle early, still had the lead. Bustle in Newmarket. 927, Sicard, Cole Brown, 950, Wall, 956, Tritol, Pelham, 957. So those four make it. And I think four from the other eight. And off come the hurdles. And Landon can put that in his list of things. Hurdle crew. Landon, where, where are you, man? The guy that <laughs> is most likely coming second to Andy O'Brien. <laughs> wow. Andy that had was his a low number blow. so many times. It's, that was oh, a low blow. That was a low blow. Got to be good at something, though. He has a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever given you a ride in his blacked out windowed, uh, what is that, an Elantra? The one that got stolen? The one that got, yeah. <laughs> the one that got stolen. Got stolen. <laughs> Who'd Did you ever steal find that? out what happened? Yeah. Uh, Lawrence got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We get the boys' dash coming up. Alan Yap of Bishop Brady. Alan Oled of Oyster River, Jordan Espo of Newmarket, Tim Kelm of Portsmouth Christian, Ty Doro of Oyster River, Edwin Rodriguez of Manchester West, Samuel Bruno of Hollis Brookline, and Jack Boshens of Bishop Brady. Bishop Brady has uh, three guys in the 55, and wouldn't be out of the question that two of them at least make it on to the finals. Looks 
looks like they're ready to go. Just called them to the blocks. They're up. And they're back down. They're back down. There was a slight flinch, not necessarily enough to call it a false start. Just gave them a warning. Yeah. You don't really want to see anybody come out of the prelims. You don't want to see them come out of the final either, but. time. It's going to be Calm of Portsmouth Christian. 660. Doro Voice to River, 680. Rodriguez of West, 681. Bruno, 687. Espo, 689. Boshens, 696, six. Lit, 703, and Yap, 705. So, fourth year is 687. We'll have to see what the second heat gives us. In that, we have Junior McKinnon from Pelham, Nicholas Jurison of Oyster River, Damian Sanborn of Belmont, Nehemiah Oyarambi of Trinity, Josh Jenkos of Bishop Brady, Aiden Bradley of Hanover, Carson Ben of Sauhegan, and Jason Robillard of Newmarket. Shout out Ben from Sauhegan. Saw him run the 4 by 8 State champion 4 by 8 team. Yeah. Don't see that too often of a short sprinter coming no. up like that. So Trinity's Oyarambi, uh, 676. All right, they're getting in their blocks. and Jenko's out pretty quick there. William Rombi from Trinity, 672. Jenko, 675. McKinnon, 688. Bradley, 690. So we had 687 was fourth in that heat. So the first three here make it through, plus those four. And then it's either Bradley or whoever is fifth from that last one. Girls 55. We've got Sage Constantangos of Bo, Samantha Tritol of Pelham, Anushka Chavd of Coe Brown, Keely Giordano of Milford, Emma Winslow of Belmont, Kylie Repose of Kingswood, Zoe Wall of Pembroke, and Avery Bumgart of Oyster River. State 
State time is 7.14 by Angie Johnson. And Division 2, 7.21. I already got in trouble from uh, Tim for saying Anna's name wrong once, so I'm not even going to bother. But anyways, the fastest in this one is 7.54. And that was Keely Giordano. They're up. <laughs> Giordano from Milford. Seven, four, three. Job Dove Cole Brown, seven, six, one. Winslow of Bellman, 761 as well. The draw of Pelham, 780. Repose of Kingswood, 780 as well. Constant Tankos of Bo 792 and Wall 797. Bumgart 802. Second heat, we've got Ava Lacasse of Belmont, Annalise Nassie of yeah. Milford, yeah, yeah. Tasha McNeil of Conval, Ada Wee from Kennett, Caitlin Bustle back from the Hurdles, New Market 760, Lauren McPhee of Kingswood, Juliet Faria of Kier Sarge and Natalie Highmark of Sauhegan. Eight of wheat, seven, five, four. Fastest in this heat. Bob standing in the middle of the track. I think he's checking on the timers. Timers give the thumbs up. They've been called to the blocks. They're up. Ooh, and away. There we go. That'll be eight a week. Seven three eight. McNeil seven six seven. Bustle of Newmark seven seven two. McPhee of Kingswood seven seven three. Nassi Milford seven seven four. Faria of Kiosar seven nine two. A lot of these girls have just been beating their seed time. Yeah, well, they get to wear spikes, kind of, for the first uh, time in the end of the season. Yeah. So I think that makes a huge, huge difference. All right, up on the track, the 3K. In this, we have Brianna Malone, Mackenzie Cook, Molly Ellison, Maya Brochu, Emma Shom Lawful, Quinn Hardy, Ilias McKenna, Kylie Kelly, Emma Larson, Olivia Shar. Isabella G Giacomoni, Sarah Bauer. It's going to be a little bit because they're putting the rail in. Girls are getting some runouts. <clears throat> the state record for this is 935.70 by Jackie Gone. Not sure that that's going to move anywhere. Uh, but the Division II record's 958.10, which is nothing to sneeze at, Julia Robitaille. Um, but if anybody can do it, it's Brianna Malone. Uh, Brianna Malone 
has elected to just run the 3K and the 1500. Uh, and it wouldn't be out of the question for her to be going after that time. Um, she is a 41 second seed time over number two. Oh, I just read that wrong. 21 second. It's been a long day looking at numbers. Good thing I don't teach math. <laughs> yeah, no, I think she could definitely go after that. Uh, the yeah, I, record. I mean, she's been running really, really close to the uh, D2 1500 record mm. solo. She's so. close to the 1000 record, too. Yeah. But she's not running that today. Right. So she is out in front. Doesn't look to me like she's going for it, but we'll have to check on the split. Mackenzie Cook in second. Molly Ellison in third. Brochu in fourth. Sean Lawful in fifth. And Quinn Hardy in sixth. So right now we're lined up as they were. 38 point. Yeah, that's 40. That's faster than record pace. Maybe she knows exactly what that feels like and's going right at it. Figuring then she can always just crank a last lap to get there. I mean, the gap's now 15 meters. I think Brianna Malone's going to win. You do? Heard it here first. You heard it here first. So 9.58 is the record that's yeah. right around 80 second pace, I think? Yeah, and they just went through in 78 plus. Yeah. 82. And then this chase pack is rolling through in like 130. Good little pack there. And then there's chase pack behind that. So Malone out of front, alone. Mackenzie Cook in second, alone. And then Ellison, Brochu, and Sean Waffle in a group. Second pack being led by Emma Larson. We'll get an 800 split here. Thirty-nine plus. So right on, right. Right on, yeah. yeah. We got um live splits up here right now. Um, oh, I can't see those numbers. Yeah, They're so she ran 38.6, 40.1, 40.5, and 40.2. Oh, so she definitely knows exactly what it is. Yeah. Three minutes for that chase pack. Larson going through in 307. And, and Brianna Malone already catching traffic before some people have 800. Her 1,000, 320, just under 320. So that's right there at the record. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. I think part of the problem is when we, we sat there in the early going saying, doesn't look like she's really going for it because she's under control yeah. going for it. Yeah, she just looks so relaxed, even though she is running record pace. Right. That chase pack is splitting up a little bit. And that last lap was a 40.1. So she is <laughs> right on it. Yeah, she'll cruise through and then... Four, 1,200. <laughs> and now she gets to chase people the whole way. Perfect. 
Gotta go out to lane three here. <laughs> wow. It's nice seeing somebody in command like that, being able to just do what they want. Seems like we come off just a little. A little Strand. bit. 40.6 right. and 40.9. Okay, two so hours. right there. And if you can just like keep doing that and then get within sniffing distance of the finish. Yeah, yeah. Now, she's not someone that the kick eludes very often. <laughs> Yeah, that is the nice thing about being such a strong middle distance runner is you yeah. know, she can kind of run right on record pace and then drop a lap or two at the end. Go around with her. She's coming right now. Is that 520? Kenzie Cook maintaining second pretty solid. Yeah, she's she having a good run. Yeah, that last lap was a 41.7. So she dropped a second on that lap. I'm sure somebody's paying attention for her. Yeah, these, uh, these next, next couple laps is where it's really important. Yep. So here's we got third with Brochu, Ellison. Coming on to the back stretches fifth with Sean Lawful. Then there's quite a gap back to sixth, which is Larson from Coe Brown. She is Elias McKenna working off her. Well, Brianna Malone's about to lap third and fourth place. Two K in. Two K looks in. like she's going to jog in the park. Yep. Yeah, she's Here dropping comes. a little bit. Mackenzie Cook just going back through the finish start area. She's lapping fifth place. So Malone's down to a 43.5 on that last lap. Ooh. So, so she's going to have to really bring it home. Yeah. So Malone out in front. Kenzie Cook doing a great job in no man's land for second. Hasn't been lapped. Yeah, she looks smooth as well. We've got Brochu leading Ellison with half a track over fifth, which is Sean Lawful. Three laps to go for Malone. 8.14-ish. Here comes Cook. Three laps to go. Lap counters getting earn, earning their pay today. Malone's entering the finishing stretch, so just over 400 to go. Eight fifty-six. Yeah, so she's gonna have to drop a 62, 63. Yeah. yeah. 
That's asking a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen today. Cook in second, going through 9-13. Mackenzie Cook's going to have a pretty good time here, too. She is. She's running really good, considering she hasn't, you know, after two laps in, she was solo. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's tough. You got someone like Malone in the, yep. in the race, and you know she kind of blows her away. But Cook's There's... rolling well. She's about to pass third and fourth place. She looks strong. Malone just lapped fifth place twice. No. No, it's faster. 10-19. Very strong time. 10-19-8-2. Here comes Cook. It'll be 10-32. Cook closed down that gap. Quite yeah, a bit did. over the last half. 10 32 5 3. Ellison leading. Brochu going into the last lap. Now looking at uh, Cook splits, she kept it pretty much even start to finish. Yep. She was like a second and a half from her slowest split to her. Her fastest split. Nice. Here comes Ellison for third. It'll be Brochu for fourth. Fifth just went through the start finish area. 11.20 for Ellison. 11.29 for Brochu, not bad after Running the four by eight. No, not at all. That's a tough double. It seems like there was less time in this one than Division One as well. Yeah, those uh, those sprints go pretty quick. They do, especially at states. You only have two heats. So. Yep. Here comes fifth. Sean Lawful's gonna run 11, 12 on the nose. And now I have to guess. I would assume it's New Market coming around as they look like they're closing. Ilias McKenna, New Market for sixth. Quinn Hardy, looking like she's finishing in six, or at least she's finishing. Or seventh, I should say. Emma Larson for ninth. Giacomo Moni coming in tenth. Char eleventh. It'll be Sarah Bauer for twelfth. Looking at the boys. Number one seed, no surprise, Aiden Cox. Number two, Jonas Teeter. Number three, Thomas Wolf of Lebanon. Uh, Owen Stein in fourth from Sauhegan. Tyler Kazik from Cole Brown in fifth. Nick Hill, Shavda in sixth from Cole Brown. Gunnar Courier from Muscoma Valley. Finley Irvine from Sauhegan. Baxter Paulini from Sauhegan. Max Shire in tenth from Trinity. Logan Korthal's in 11th from Milford, and Nathan Alajajan from Conan. I believe I got that right, and I yeah. should, because he's like right down the road from us, but <laughs> just when you one. got three A's, two J's, a couple other vowels in there. One one thing to note here is uh, Kazik is seated at 926, um, although he has run 848 right. uh, in a meet, which does not seat him for this. 
That is the same yeah, I don't goes for I don't Aiden, think it matters. What's that? I think Aiden's ran eight sixteen. Eight maybe. sixteen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But Does I think it? the question is whether Aiden goes and tries to blow out the state record or if he saves himself for the 15 and 4x4 four four later on. It's hard to see. He's right out front. Thomas Wolf right behind him. Tyler right behind that. Looks like he's getting he's, out. He's yeah. motoring. Yeah, might as well get out front and... They might Open just up enough go. of a gap that everybody has to hurt to get there. They might just let him go. Yeah, they I wouldn't. I don't. 32, 32 mid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll see Aiden just go do his thing and then a race for second place with Kasich, Wolf, and uh, but, Teeter. But it's safe, safe to say, like, Cole Brown's thought about this. Like, how is it they figure out how to do this the best? And, yep. you know, maybe getting Aiden out of everybody's sight and letting the race really kind of develop for second place might help out their team a little better. Yeah, kind of just, part of the just race. Let, that, let that main pack just do its own thing. Right. Because they need those, they need Tyler back in the, the 15 as well. Yeah. And so if that if that chase pack's chasing too hard, he has to work pretty hard to do it. Yeah, I believe um Chavda's in the fifteen as well. Yeah. As is Aiden, I believe. Right? Yep. yep. And Leno. All in uh all in scoring <laughs> positions. Right. So that's you know, it's important. So yeah, Teeter I, Teeter's I decided yeah, the second place battle, I think, is going to yeah. be really interesting here. Teeter's going for it. He's, He's going for it. That seems to me to come at a cost. I like it, but... Is Teeter doubling it's back? It's definitely risky, because there's oh. plenty of guys right there that could, uh, that could come back on him. No, he's not. So this is it for Teeters. That's why he's going. Yep. Go for gold. <laughs> Go for gold. Matasic's not letting up. Tyler's right there. Right. Well, Tyler's pretty competitive, too. He's not going to want. Yeah. And even if they had a plan to keep it that second part slow, he's not going to yeah. want to let anybody go away. Aiden's too 46 Two. through the K. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. He, yeah, he's going for it. Teeter is, oh, Teeter and Kasich under three flat. So three, yeah. And chase back. 303. 303. Yeah. That's a pretty legit chase back. So this is within Tyler's PR. Yeah, I'd Quite see him just staying where he is and putting it in at the end. I don't see why you shouldn't just do what you need to do to get second. Right. And then hoping for the best in the 15. Yeah, I agree. And I think they're most likely trying to go one, two, three in the 15. To yeah. try to save themselves for that. Aiden just lapped four out of the 11. <laughs> and Teeter has a heck of a, of a kick, but Tyler's developed a pretty good kick as mm -hmm. of late. He's got a and nice close the gap, well. too. Yeah, Tyler. I mean, they both look comfortable, but. Yep. It's also I, a question of will the kick still be there right. after going out at this pace. I, well, and as of now, one-on-one, -on -one, I'd see Kasich yep. taking it. Well, and he's been able to hunt the whole time, so. Oh, Aiden's through 16 and 428. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah, still have the splits uh, going? <laughs> so... Kasich has moved right up onto the back of Teeter. Mm. 
I, that's not that's not what I'd want to be feeling. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's pretty good. Like if he yeah. just sits there, you know, he doesn't he doesn't need to go by him. He doesn't need to do nope. anything. You know. Wolf just moved to the front of that pack of three, but Aiden's only 20 meters down on them. Oh boy. So 8:39, 5:2, it's the time to beat. Time to beat. And now he's got some really fast guys to chase. Yeah. I mean, Aiden's coming up on like lapping the whole field here. Yeah. 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 That, it's 40 meters. 50 meters until yeah. he laps the and entire field. this is not a slow field No, either. no, not at all. <laughs> no. So he just went through 2K. There's four, five, six. <laughs> like, look if, <laughs> if he laps Kazik here, yeah. like, Kazik qualified for nationals, nationals in the 3K. And Aiden's oh going to lap Lord. him. Oh, Kasich made a move, yes. dropped Teeter. Well, I think he looked at that pack yep. and said, I can use this. Teeter's yep. hurting a bit, but I'm still hanging on. He's there. We have 800 to go for Aiden. 800 at 610, I think. And that move that Kasich made might be the only thing that saves him from getting lapped. Yeah, I think we might, I think we'll see 820 out of Aiden. 210 wow. for a last date. I think, I think that's why Not bad for he running just didn't so want to get low. lapped. <laughs> Patrick O'Brien's 839's the state record and the D2 record. I was in that race. Got lapped. Oh. Aiden's lapping third, third in a second. Third place right now. Kasich's hanging on. <laughs> Oh, he's got him in his sights, though. Ooh. Cousin battle. Yeah, this, this is I actually going to be pretty my cool. Cousin uh, lap pretty cool me. battle, yeah. <laughs> Will in lap <laughs> Kasich. Uh, I hope if he does, he shakes a finger at him or something. <laughs> but Tyler looks strong. Tyler looks he's, great. Yeah. I, I was a little nervous early on, but he looks like he fell into it. I mean, this is probably like good Two for lap, both of them because now it's 20. Just, 720 with a two, 400, 400, yeah, 400 to go. go yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Can Tyler hang on? <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Wow. <laughs> this yeah. is fantastic. Gives Aiden a little rabbit oh. there, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But also... Big moves in the back. Chaka yeah, yeah, yeah. and Chaka Wolf are Peter. going for it. Oh, <laughs> Kasich gets to, he hears that bell. <laughs> so <laughs> Chavda's up into third. Third. So oh we can see a Cobra one, two, three here. Oh, wow. In this, Aiden already ran four by eight. Oh, oh! right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's going to get him. This is fantastic. He's going to get him. I love it. Wow. Oh, maybe he won't. Oh, no, maybe he won't. just sit behind him. He's not going to. Oh, <laughs> nice. So that's New state record. 11 seconds. Wow. Under oh the state record. Lord. Oh, my Lord. 828. Wolfer. Big yeah, Wolf for third. Wolf sticking Good it to Chavda. Yeah, Wolf's really Chavda, it down. whoa! He's Ooh. staying with him. Those are the biggest arms oh, I've yeah, seen since Landon arms. Valancourt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, but Chavda. He's going wow. right with him. He might have him. Chavda, oh my lord. Oh. And it, you, Tyler. K6 in. Tyler jogged that lap in. You're not going to get it. Wow. That's a great oh, wow. The two, one, though. two, four. That's fantastic. Man, 908 for. Third place. Yeah. Wow. And That's fourth nuts. <laughs> Chavda, Chavda came wow. in with a 932. 932. And ran wow. Owen Stein, 918. Teeter in, 925. Barely able to stand up. He gave it everything. 925. That was phenomenal. Yeah, that's pretty wow. crazy. Worth driving up for, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Aiden, that's that's a race where like 
fourth place probably could have won states yes. plenty of other years. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Nick Hill Chav, the state champion in the 3K. Another year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, theory he should be able to stick around, right? He's like 16 or something. Graduating. Yeah. But he's graduating this year. Yeah. 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 It's pretty crazy. He's uh he's improved so much the last year. Yeah. It's yeah. Because like, I mean, last year he was you know he was pretty decent. But yep. this cross country season. And then was, yeah, and then yeah, all of a sudden yeah. this yeah. year like he's legit. He pulled the Carter move. <laughs> yeah. Classic Good during cross room. country season. <laughs> All right, they're going to be setting it back up here for a little bit in a girls' hurdle event. Whew, that was a great race. That was fun. Wow. Well, it's nice to see Aiden feeling well, too. Mm -hmm. It's Sometimes also crazy to think, though, that he's run. Almost 15 seconds faster than that. Faster than yep. that. Yeah. But it definitely seemed like he he slowed it down a bit at the end. Yeah. Trying to last, save it. The last 800. That's not bad if yeah. you can kind of cruise home and run an 828. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Break the state record by 11 <laughs> seconds. <Right. laughs> While saving yeah. yourself for the 15. Yeah, for the yeah. 15. Yeah. I it think he's in the four by four today as uh, well probably yeah, <laughs> yeah well, after that second. why not yeah. <laughs> oh that was awesome but yeah i'm uh i'm looking forward to the 15 too it's gonna be a good race but he yeah. didn't lap his cousin i know no. he, he so who really won he could have stuck it to him i know <laughs> give him the finger if swagger. i was if i was tyler <laughs> in that situation i would have looked over my shoulder and just like kicked with you know, with three hundred to go, I'm like I'm not getting laughed. <laughs> no way he's catching me. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right. Let's see if we got our finalists for the girls 55 hurdles. They exist out there wow. somewhere. Wow, everybody ran really even splits in this race. Yeah, well, that's how to, how to run a good one, right? Yeah, Aiden ran 33, 34, 33, 33, 33, 34, 33, 33, 34, 35, 35, 34. Oh, sorry, oh, so I didn't he hear did. That. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. Could you just, say that again? Just uh, a wee bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then Tyler you, ran pretty much. 35, 36 the whole way. But uh, Wolf and, and Chavda were running 37s yeah, most of the way. And then their second to last lap was a 34, and their last wow. lap was a 31. Wow. 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 Is Chavda, have they peeled him off the floor <laughs> yet? I mean, <laughs> so, so Wolf and Chavda actually ran the fastest 200 split in the whole race. <laughs> Not bad. Chavda with that arm swing was taking up two lanes, too. <laughs> What's up? What? Are you a noob to this down there? <laughs> he is a noob to this. He's never done track before. <laughs> we just had a, a quick <laughs> guest appearance from Jamie Leno. This is his first track no. season, right? Yeah. 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 Number Which one is, seed. It's kind of weird to think yeah. about yeah. that because it doesn't – seem like it number one seed in the thousand by quite a bit and he doesn't yeah, know how to, right where do i where do i get my tags yeah and obviously you know he's he's very experienced he's been running since he was like i don't know eight but uh yeah this is his first high school track season yeah, yeah. i heard he was a lot better at basketball so. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he really should have just stuck to basketball i think ignorance is bliss <laughs> Good thing he doesn't do sprint events because he'd probably just keep his hip numbers and not realize that they get <laughs> yeah get them reissued. Yeah, no, he'd he'd run the prelims and think that was final <laughs> and then just go home. <laughs> what? What do you mean? 
I, I, I have won. to run my race twice? <laughs> uh, all right, so hurdles are set. I think they might be waiting for long jump to finish up. Yeah, that's the formula from the first meet. The one thing here, if you were running running events while they're doing long jump, you don't necessarily get confused that the people long jumping are in the race. Some of those ones you watch on TV and the runways yeah. go the same yeah. direction. Yeah, it is, like, it is somebody nice. just kicked. It's pretty <laughs> obvious since they're going the opposite way. <laughs> Typically, uh, at this venue, they have it on the back stretch, yeah. and they do run the same direction as yep. um, the runners. And that, yeah, that gets kind of confusing because you're like, wow, all of a sudden this guy's, you know, yeah, put really a break on. taken off. <laughs> He's been saving it. Oh, now he just jumped in the air for some reason. <laughs> Somebody must have gone down. I'm not sure. You look down at the start of the 55 and you get a reflection or something off the window. Mm. Green lettering. I'm not sure where that's coming from. It's a little distracting early when they were starting. There it is. I heard this isn't the most uh, broadcasted uh, sporting event today. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> it's the biggest event of the day. I think there was something else that is on later tonight, but I don't think anybody's paying attention. It's probably like some basketball game or something. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure they're all overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much it was guess. to get a 30 second commercial on this? Yeah. Yeah, we should, we should start oh. selling uh, yeah. airtime on this. Well, not only airtime, like halftime show or something. I'd, I'd probably, you know, hey, I'm in, I'm in charge here. I'll, I'll put there you out here if you bring me like Rory and Patrick, what kind of song and dance <laughs> yeah. can you guys do? <laughs> yeah, give us a jingle. In the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be phenomenal. I'd put some money down for that one. <laughs> if you're looking down the stretch right now, there's Larry Martin. Honored earlier this evening for everything he's done for indoor track. Oh, is it uh, 47 years he's been doing 47 it? Wow. years. Wow. I know he's been around doing all this since I've been doing it. He knows what he's doing. doing? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I keep, when people are walking down over there, I, they're like green. I keep seeing that they're, they're bright green somewhere over there. Yeah. I don't know where it's coming from, though. There it is right there, too. Again, we're being brought to today by Arthur Thomas Properties. I understand they're on the seacoast. So if you're looking for a second home or something like that, go see them. Of course, Hoka supports the website. And I mentioned earlier on the earlier broadcast, uh, Runner's Alley. I stopped in there this week. Found it's a been quarter zip top that I like. They didn't have it in my size. They checked the Portsmouth store. Said Portsmouth would just send it right out to you. I said, okay. It was yeah. there the next day. It is, it is nice. Out. They have that, that kind of network where yeah. if they don't necessarily have something you're looking for, like they can find it somewhere else, and then yeah. they just send it well, to you. Yeah. <laughs> Their partnership it with uh, Marathon Sports and Mass and stuff, so they uh, do have some connections. All right. Greg just texted me and said that, Long jump has its own uh, display that's green. Ah, uh, wh where's it facing though? Like oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it just showing the <coughs> probably the previous jump? Yeah, I think so. Right? Oh yeah, because the official is there typing it in. I see. 
Well, we do have our, our girls are down there. They have their hip numbers. Do we have the start list for that? Yes. All right. Um, we don't want to be sure bad. I'm not sure, actually, we're... if it's, let's see if they have it seated in lanes. Do we? Yeah. Okay. So we got um, Tetro of Pelham in lane one, Sicard of Co-Brown, Cardi of Oyster River, Nicolosi of Pelham, Bustle of Newmarket, Lovely of Newport, Wall of Pembroke, and Creer of Pelham. So they're down there. The officials are mulling around. Again, they're waiting for long jump. And uh, Pelham's not too shabby at uh, hurdles, huh? No. <laughs> three girls in the final. Oh, did they get three through? Yep. Oh. Because we knew they had two, but then that last one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oyster River used to be like that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Portsmouth's um, been like that, too. I remember when I was in uh, in high school, it was, you know, all Oyster River. I remember one time, a uh, coach from Summersworth, Steve Hodgson, was, we were at the seating meeting, and they were talking about you're only allowed to have six per event. And at that point, Summersworth was ridiculous at Javelin. And I think they had eight girls that could have <laughs> made it in. <laughs> That's in crazy. Javelin, yeah. That's pretty impressive if you hit the entry limit yeah. at a state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up. Can't do that. But, I mean, if you're a javelin thrower, you may not have another event. Right. You know, if you're a 32-meter th runner, 3,100-meter runner, you yeah, probably can run you the just, 60. Yeah, you <laughs> just enter something else, you know. <laughs> but. The officials are over there sweeping the long jump. That's That's pretty professional. <laughs> I don't want to be running through sand. This is New Hampshire track and field. This is. We do it right. We should, have a, we should have a sand track meet. You mean like a sand track? Yeah, just make a track out of like six I inches of like sand. about that like 25 <laughs> years ago that there was. Really? Yeah. And the times for, for some of the distances were, were still pretty sick. Really? Yeah. So you run, you run like the sand mile in like eight <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Just keel over at the end. The end of our outdoor season, we used to run a Fear Factor mile. Everybody we would bring, that wanted to be in it would bring uh, four servings of a flowable I like liquid, is, I like this non medicinal. <laughs> and every lap, you had to have one serving of that and we had some some crazy stuff you know red bull oh, but, but the, uh. the sodas were kind of the best because they're like 12 ounces they're fizzy yeah um we had prune juice drink some uh, like protein shake or something oh yeah yeah <laughs> one of the best was actually a, it was like a health shake it was archer farms but the serving size was like 17.4 ounces oh, yeah yeah so you, you you multiply that times four, you can't even fit that in your stomach. Right, yeah. even without the running. Yeah. Yeah, the kids that wanted to bring that back, but. You know, our team usually does, like, milk mile. Milk every mile, year. yeah, yeah, that's pretty common. It's just pretty standard. I can't, yeah. I can't do that. We used to do, um, after Thanksgiving, we used to do the uh, uh, eggnog challenge. Ooh, so ooh. Uh, you do a serving of eggnog every lap. But what would happen is people wouldn't really run it hard. They would just jog it, and you had to stay on the lead lap. And the thing was you get, like, five laps in, and some people just couldn't finish. That's we gross. We had one kid make almost 13, uh, 13 laps, so oh. 5K. <laughs> Crazy. That's actually really impressive. Yeah. I'm drinking eggnog every lap. Uh, yeah, every oh. lap. Eight ounces. Got quite the digestive system well no there's no no digestive in it you just end up puking it all i don't think anybody ever you know keeps it down wow. 
seeing as we have a dirt track and it's sometimes soft at that point, we usually used to borrow a local track. I'm not going to say whose track we used to borrow, but... <laughs> There was a, a, a drainage grade on the infield, and uh, that would get that, pretty important. plastered. That's important, yeah. <laughs> Got to have good irrigation. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a... We're still looking at high jump. Yeah, we can get some... Uh, Some high jump up on the, on the screen here. Uh, if you are just interested in watching all of high jump, there is a separate live stream that we have um, a camera on high jump. Like and it wouldn't be, it. yeah, it wouldn't be bad to mention that uh, the high jump state record might go down today. Yeah, yeah this is going to be a good day. And over kid is really good. I imagine. I mean, the bar is at. Looks like just under six feet. And, and Yin uh, hasn't started imagine, yet. Yeah, he probably hasn't come in yet. He has his pants on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's seated, what, six inches above the rest of the field? Yeah. Wow. So I think like normally that. the meets have been at, he usually comes in like at like 6'4 or something, you know, <laughs> wow. which is pretty crazy. All right. Uh, long jump is over. They're clearing everybody from that side of the track. Once they do that, they'll get the girls all up, let them rip, then it'll be the boys, and then onto the dash, and away we go. Thank you. Girls are getting into their blocks. Looking at uh, Maddox Lovely just took a hurdle. I, I think she was listed in like six events, um, you know, going into seating, and they were all different type stuff. Mm. What's the max for indoor? Is it four? What do you mean? Like max yeah. amount of events you can yeah, run four? Yeah. yeah. And that includes relays, so. Yeah. Yeah, which you know, it's a it's, you know, a, a rule. You can't do more than four, but like four is a lot. So I, I mean think, I guess I think even if it wasn't a rule, that's that's probably <laughs> it's a, a good lot. amount to cap it at. I mean it, it probably in the throwing and you know, if you were a throw jumper maybe right. you could get away with something. Yeah, there's certain combinations where where you could probably and at least you're better off. Right. Um you know, you're, you're still going to be feeling it, but. Yeah. All right, the girls have been They're called the to their blocks. Right. And off we go. Looks like it's going to be Nicolosi. No surprise either. Nine flat. <laughs> Takes a tenth off the uh, prelim time for her. Yeah. Maddox Lovely in second, 925. Cardi from Oyster River, 926. Bustle of Newmarket, 933. Sicard of Cobrown, 937. Wall of Pembroke, 956. Career of Pelham, 963. Tetral, 9.81. And a state record, and that is 8.01. <laughs> That's nuts. Mm -hmm. All right, next up will be the boys. They're making the move. Raising the hurdles, adjusting the weights.
This one we've got Colby from Conan, Haddix from Guilford, Powell from Hanover, Henderson from Sauhegan, Ahern of Plymouth, Lamontage of uh, Lebanon, Reynolds of Merrimack Valley, and Post of Conval. Is the Reynolds of Merrimack Valley, Sophia and the brothers, twin brothers, brother? Uh, I don't actually know. They were all distance runners. Yeah. Can, I'm wouldn't not that sure. be right? Like, I'm not doing what everybody else did. I'll do hurdles instead. Yeah, I know um, Sophia was good uh, in the steeple. Steeple. She was she was pretty smooth over yeah. uh, over some hurdles, so maybe but um, it is. yeah, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly call them hurdlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Post of Conval, uh, his older brother was a distance guy too. I think a mile, mile guy. I mean, it's not horrying, horribly uncommon not to want run exactly what your siblings did. Yeah. We got a guy standing in front of that uh, sign for a long jump. He looks like the Hulk, <laughs> green and everything. Oh, well, they're in the blocks. They're up. Fair start. We got Sauhegan, Henderson out front. Should take that. Henderson does. 848. Ahern from Plymouth, 869. Powell, 869 as well. Colby from Conan, 912. Haddix of Guilford, 913. La Montage, Lebanon, 915. Reynolds, 938. Post, 954. Haddix is your teammate. Yeah. Yeah, Nick's been, he actually, he was really strong in the 400 and all the hurdle events last outdoor season. Is he? Does, is he going to benefit when we go from 55 hurdles to 110 hurdles? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he. this isn't a good event for right, him. Right, I right. think the 300 hurdles, he'll be right up there, top yeah. three. Um, like, we'll have some good hurdlers this year with him and um, another guy. Nice. All right, here we go in the dash. We've got McPhee of Kingswood, McNeil of Conval, Shavda from Cole Brown, Wheat from Kennett, Giordano of Milford, Winslow, Belmont, Bustle, Newmarket, and Nassi of Milford. Shavda, I'm assuming, is Nick Hill's sister. Nick Hill was just in the 3K, the longest event. And his sister in the 55. Yeah, like we were just talking event. about. Uh, <laughs> you don't you don't always run the same events as right. your siblings. I think I have wheat in this. Yeah, that's probably a pretty I feel good. Like pick. I've never seen I've her lose. I, I exactly. You and I have been at a lot of the same events, and she's pretty much up front all the time. Oh, oh it's close. Oh, that was close. Uh, she got it, but. That was I don't close. think she had a, her typical start. So that's Wheat, 736, Giordano, 744, Shavda, 751, McPhee, 756, Winslow, 763, McNeil, 764, Bustle, 766, and Nassie, 764. Seven six. Yeah, that was not a uh, comfortable win there. No. But like you said, you get used to winning and you know how to do it. Yeah. You just she do definitely it. Definitely had a little bit of a scare there. Yes. All win, right. Wins a win. Wins a win. Yeah. The boys coming up. We got McKinnon of Pelham, Rodriguez of West, Gentkos of Bishop Brady, 
Kelm of Port, Smith Christian, Oyan Rambi, Ronby of Trinity, Doro for Oyster River, Bruneau of Hollis, Brookline, and Espo of New Marica. I don't think make the uh, Division II record is too far out <laughs> of uh, Kelm's reach. <laughs> and I'm going to just Landon apologize. Landon is it's going down. What's that? Landon, Landon said? saying it's going down. Uh, Landon also said he taught him everything he knows about sprinting, which is nothing. I just want to apologize for real on air for every name I crucified today. <laughs> I didn't mean it. It is kind of my normal thing. I'd love to be able to pronounce them the right way, but it's just a lot of names. It is. It's the thing. They all have nuances too. So they get in the blocks. A lot of D3 boys in here. Yeah, D3's been uh, pretty strong sprinting the last couple of years. And we're off. Oh, this is tight. Wow. wow. That was <laughs> I don't know. Jenkos I, or Kelm? I think Jenkos takes it. Wow. 670, oh, 673 oh, for Kelm. He that was a great start by Jenkos. Rodriguez of West. I didn't know he had it. Yeah. Rodriguez yeah. of West, 677. Oyan Rombi of Trini, 678. Espo, 679. Doro, 683. Bruno, 688. And McKinnon, 692. Here we go with the girls' thousand. All right. Uh, Top seed is Elena Hagen of Newmarket, Haley Cavanaugh, Oyster River, Caitlin O'Shea from Messenic, Caitlin Stalker of Sanborn, Amelia Laverve of Kearsarge, Julia Ho of Bow, Samantha Perrin of Co Brown, Regan Sutherland of Plymouth, Francesca Ferguson of Co Brown, Sarah Smith of Lebanon. Samantha Kimball of Merrimack Valley, and Madison Geddes of Merrimack Valley. Now there's a 34 second difference between the top seed and number 12, which means there stands a chance that the top seed catches the back of the pack in a thousand, five lap race. Yeah, and if that does happen, it's probably gonna be right at the end, yes. which can make things interesting sometimes. Yes. Atlanta Hagen was top seed once Brianna Malone pulled out early in I gotta both go, the 1,000 uh, and the 600. I got to go Hagen on this. Yes. Well, hey, I, 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 I know Hagen, like, she, she, wants, she wants a win. And, uh, you know, basically all the marbles are in this basket in the 4x4. Four four. Yeah. I mean, she she runs like she wants a win, pretty much every every, every time she runs. Time. I like that she runs hard. I I don't know that I would want to try to coach her. Yeah. Because I think she's just going to the front and pressing. I mean, I think the whole way. I think in the thousand, that's not really not, a bad yep. plan. No, it's yep. not bad at all. Um, you know, it it'd be a little bit different if it was like the fifteen or three k or something, um, where you know that's not necessarily always the best thing to do. I think Kavanaugh um, can be dangerous in this one, though, as well, because she had other events she could have been in that she's she sat back on. Oyster River's looking to get points, so. Yeah, I mean, Kavanaugh's <laughs> also definitely going for the win here, you know. Mm -hmm. She's, what, she seated three seconds off of Hagen. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next fastest time is 15 seconds behind that, so. Yep. It should uh, it should be the the two of them just going at it this whole time. Hey, they time it. Leave your watch alone. <laughs> <laughs> My girl was getting ready to start her watch in a thousand. Yeah, lap splits don't matter. Uh, I don't just know if that I'd, uh, I'd time myself in a yes. thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, not fast. Ooh. This is not what I expected. Yeah, not this at is all. Pretty surprising. 
<clears throat> Let's see who Very makes it a race. Here. Wow, this is gonna this be this is dangerous. This is gonna be slower than um, than the three K. It is yep. to go out. Three K went out in thirty eight, and they just ran a forty three. Wow, wow, interesting. I actually like, you know, I got the third seed in here, and I like this. She can <laughs> close. I mean, who in the field is? Our kickers. That's a good. I mean, uh, again, I mean, my the freshman one and can two kick, are, but like, I've never, you know, in a race like this, so I don't know. Everyone thinks they have a good kick. <laughs> exactly. <you know>? <laughs> That's why they're all doing that. If someone knew they didn't have a kick, well, they would also just like take everyone off. has a good kick if mm -hmm. if you go out in a forty-two. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I mean. This Your is one weird. and two seed are right up front. Got people running in lane three. But they're 15 seconds ahead of everybody else. And it's getting a lot more strung yeah, out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not what I expected here. No, not that compressed. But they essentially just let the three, four, five seeds all into the race. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Kavanaugh and Hagen are kind of opening this up. Yep. You knew it was going to happen at some time. Yeah, I think they just wanted to see like who was going to go first. Yeah, baiting somebody else to take right. the lead. Are they in any other events later today? Uh, Hagen's in the four by four, and they're the top seed. Okay, so a smart play on that side then. If all you want's to win, but then you got to, you know, again, you put yourself in some danger of. Oh, yeah, nice. now, now they're really cranking it up here. One lap to go, and Hagen moves out onto oh. Kavanaugh's shoulder. Muscles by on one oh. lap to go. Open up a gap. Yeah, she's still moving, too. Yeah, Hagen's throwing it down. Kavanaugh doesn't really have an answer. Yeah, she's gone. You've got the coach from Oyster ripping across the infield to yell something over the last 80 meters. Chances are it doesn't matter. Must have been saying, shutting it down. 312. See, that's honestly a pretty that's, fast time yeah, considering, considering how slow considering they how went slow out. 312, 66. Kavanaugh shutting it down. 319, and it's going to be Caitlin O'Shea from Little Old Messenic coming in third. Yeah, they the um, they took that out so slow that they almost went through um, a lap to go at the same time as the record. <laughs> they, I think they were like five seconds faster wow. than the record with 200 wow. to go. With 200 to go. <laughs> All right. Up next, the boys' thousand. Top time in the state, Jamie Lano of Cole Brown, 231. Lucian Gleiser of Hanover in second. Daniel Six and Milford, third. Carson Jones, Lebanon, four. Chase Hall, Goffs down five. Henry Hagen, Oyster River, six. Uh, Sanjith Nomala of Cole Brown, seventh. Logan Cody, Goffs down eight. Theo Fleischer, Oyster River, nine. Aiden Finnegan, Hollis Brookline, 10. Alex Kierstead, John Stark, 11. And Jacob Pinchiki. Anybody know how you say that? Pinsins? No, I think you got it. Pinsins? Pinsins from Summersworth. Yeah, I'm going to let you. I must have had it. I said stumbling. it in four different yeah. ways. <laughs> I think if I was Lano, I'd make sure I get out of everybody's hair yeah. right away. I, yeah, I, I see. He is going oh, yeah, out hard. Right he out? Did, yeah. 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 I think <coughs> Jamie's just got to get it out, keep Jamie a good, like, steady, yeah. even pace. He likes pace. running fast, so he's going to make sure that everybody's chasing. I think I he'll keep it honest, but yep. yeah. also no, I, uh, I talked try to, him to save himself. And, and he said he just is going to go. He said yeah. he wants to run <laughs> 230. Yeah. Um, his plan pretty much was gun goes off and just – 
And he threw right at 30. 30. Gleiser right on him. Yeah, I then talked six to him. in. Earlier today, Jamie said if he was through in two flat, he was going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think Gleiser's he right there. He's right I, on yep. him. I think he was lying. If he goes through in anything, he's just going to go. He's going to go for it. I don't, think it. I don't think it makes a difference. And he goes through right at 60. 60, 60 plus. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> he definitely shouldn't let anyone in this race. Oh, Gleiser's he's got a little bit of a gap. Yeah. Oh, he's looking back. Yeah, he's. He can't be doing that. Not if he wants to do what he wants. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he looks really strong. He's. He's saving himself a bit, I think. Get it out the well, first we'll know four, in a and then because he certainly doesn't look like he's harsh. Two yeah, thirty, he's two, 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 three yeah. plus. Yeah, that's he's right just right not there. far behind. I don't know. That's just like how he runs, though. He just yeah. looks so smooth all the time. When he ran two thirty one last week at Phillips Exeter, it like didn't even look like he was going. He's looking back, though. He needs to Why bother? Out. You know that no one's there. Here we go, 159, go. 2, 201. 202. You know, and he, and he's put a huge gap on Oh, he's on looking back again. Jamie. He put a huge gap on Gleiser, but. But Gleiser's closing. He is closing. He needs to finish it up. Oh, he's got to yeah. go. Oh, he's looking back again. <laughs> Jamie. It doesn't matter. No, he's got to yeah. stop doing that. He might as well I, run it back. I mean, I think it goes Who's back to oh. it's his first track season. Yeah, he's just cruising it in. Oh, I knew yeah. he wasn't going to yeah. get it. <laughs> yeah. 233. Not bad. 233.85. Oh, 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 six and goes ball. down. Gleiser from Hanover, 234. Hall, 238. Jones, 241. Cody, 243. Sixing gets in in the sixth spot, 244. You hate to see that. Yeah, I think um, I think Jamie got the wave off on the back stretch there. I think he did. And I, I think he um, also knew that the record wasn't there, so. Yeah, and he's he's got some plans for the 15. Right, think, right, so. right. All right, <laughs> girls 600, first heat. Mary Rainey of Lebanon, Poppy Collins from Hanover, Anna Berger on a co-brown, Paige Berto of co-brown, Lexi and Santa of Bo, and Kylia Aho of Conan. What do you think about that stay record? What do you mean, Zach Wright? Is it going down? In, wi in which? Oh. 600. Which record are you talking? Girl 600. Girl 600? Well, it says 132 and 135, <laughs> and our fast seat time is 145. <laughs> Yeah, nice if, little. If you're asking my thoughts, I'd have to oh, say I don't think so. 11, <laughs> 11 second PR in the yeah. 600? In the 600 of all things, right? Yeah, yeah that uh, that 132 is crazy yeah. quick. That's really fast. Even the 135 is quick. I mean, oh, yeah. Jamie <laughs> just did 132. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that's like converted. That's probably what? 205, 206 in the eight. Yeah. All right. Looks like one of the co brown girls making up the stagger. Not sure which one because they were seated right next to each other. It's I would have to Bergeron say it's Anna Bergeron. Yep. They get to the Cut in, Aho first. Kaiweyeho. We got the. Uh, we, call him, we, we go by Aho. But Aho, yeah. my bad, my bad. That's all right. We got the four Just by eight. Just when you mess up and say Aho, <laughs> it can sound bad. She runs a solid 1500, so. 
with the lead, she should be able to keep it, but sometimes when you're a 1500 meter run, you go 600, you might go a little fast and they're going early going. All right, coming around with one lap to go. 109. <clears throat> Basically got three seconds on the field. I think she's gonna stay out. Looks like everybody else is uh, just as gassed. Oh, I forgot the pole girl that had the kick in the four by eight yep. is closing. I think she has a mark over there that she just says on the ground, like I'm going from here. Oh, and around wow. she comes. Wow, that is Lexi and Santa running Four. insanely to take that heat. Yeah, she's 149. 149. Oh, she seems like she's got that kind of nailed down where uh, yeah. she just goes, Look, okay, a little to go. over 100 gonna, to go. <laughs> gonna take off. The hammer. <laughs> All right, second heat. We've got Ellie, Will, Ellie Wimmer of Kearsarge. Lily Tetford of Sanborn, Talia Banifado of Oyster River, Audrey Littlefield of Sauhegan, Marcella Donito of Kingswood, and Allison Burke of Newmarket. That was what, 149? Yeah, 149. 149, so we'll see what happens here. Can she sneak into the scoring? Boys high jumps getting up there. Yeah. Gonna be pretty interesting over there. Sanborn making up the stagger. New market to the cut in first. Allison Burke. Got Newmarket, Kingswood, Sauhegan, Sauhegan Sanborn, Kearsarge, Oyster River. Again, 149 was first in the last heat. Oh, they have a shot. 67. Well, she's going to get some some of that heat. Yeah, this is going to be close to that. New market stays out, and they run under 149. They'll have just won the 1,000 and the 600. But it looks like Kingswood's coming around. Oh. Marcella Donito. We go 144. Yeah, the first one in that heat's going to come in Six. fifth. I think fifth, fifth even. Fifth or sixth. Yeah. Danito yeah. Kingswood takes it, 144.05. Burke from Newmarket, 144.9. Littlefield, Sauhegan, 147. Tetford from Sanborn, 148. Whitmer of Kearsarge, 149. And Banifado, Oyster River, 153. Yeah, so that's going to put uh, Insana in yeah, six. At least six, yeah. Yep. All right, boys, first heat. We've got uh, Marshall Carey Matthews of Merrimack Valley, Jacob Sawyer of Conan, Aiden Eastland of Sow Egan, Ivan Sturgis of Portsmouth Christian, Benjamin Robinson of Coe Brown, and Tyler Napolitano. Napolitano. And Portsmouth Christian has already closed up the gap and is right up there. That's Ivan Sturgis. Iron Ivan. Yeah. Looks like him and Robinson are gonna hit the break first. Yep. Yep. This is tight heat. Oh, Robinson, big move Robinson there. Robinson going around. Yeah, yeah nice move. Wow. And the now question is. The four by eight. He, I think he was third leg of the four by yep. eight. Yep. He looked pretty solid there too. 
Well, it's Robinson's right now. sneak into the top six, I think, is the big question. question. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely trying to score here. <coughs> That's the goal. 50, 57. 57, he's right there. He could. I think what he has going, that's that's a hundred percent in the cards. Yep. He looks good. Hundred to go. Yeah, this is gonna be a good race for him. Get a one twenty nine going into that. We'll go one twenty eight. Seven eight. Twenty seven yeah. high, I think. One twenty seven high. Wow. Yeah, yeah 27.9. And the top seed in the... See that scoring. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 126 is the fast seed time. He could podium. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately. So Adam Holodowski of Milford in one slot here. Aiden Powell from Hanover. Gavin Demas of Coe Brown. Matthew McLaughlin of Hollis Brookline. Bisho Thapa of Merrimack Valley and Chris Jernigan of Oyster River. And yeah, that, that puts him has, in really good shape, actually. Yeah. What's that? I said that puts Robinson in really good yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Demas has been sitting all day so <laughs> far. He was He's sick been the sitting season. the last four weeks or something. Yeah. Yeah, he, he definitely made, wants something. He told me to make sure people know. That, uh, people know yeah, well. Exactly. Did yeah. you tell him to make sure people know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Demas is there. Right oh, in. Demas, nice wow. move. I Not like where attitude. Chris have... Jernigan is yep. right now. Yep. Yeah. That's and if good. I was Demas, Kevin, I'd Kevin want Jernigan to go right around. Perfect. Yep. Ooh, Chris looks good. <clears throat> so we had Robinson through in. 57, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jernigan okay. is running 53. Wow. Yeah, wow. 54 mid. This Jernigan is, is still fast. in lane oh, two. Oh, Jernigan. He needs to get out of lane two. He's been oh, but Demas. Demas wow. with a great Here move. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Perfect timing, Time too. Time to go. And Dapa yeah. had Jernigan wow. pinned. Wow. <laughs> Demas is going to take this. He's going to be super happy. Means he's probably gonna come over and bother us. Wow! Oh, man, wow! He good. One twenty-two. Oh. <laughs> wow! Woo! That a oh. one twenty-six and Jernigan and Robinson laid it all out. Wow! What a run! Robinson Demis oh. one twenty-two seven four. Thapa Merrimack Valley one twenty-five eight. McLaughlin one twenty-seven. Hodolowski one twenty-seven. Jernigan. 128 and Powell 128. Man, I knew uh, I knew Gavin wanted to you know drop a time today. But yeah, wow. Seven um, seconds. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> he should get sick about time. time. That basically time. means he's been stinking all season. Sandbag. He's been tapering for that. So oh yeah. <laughs> Sandbag Demas. All right, coming up in the girls 300. First heat. Mia Bagnato of Hanover, Morgan Cantor of Lebanon, Aaron Cardi of Oyster River, and Jenny Lutz of Muscoma Valley. Yeah, Demas is going to be pumped. Yeah, that was a excellent race. I mean, he, I don't know if he intentionally timed that perfectly or just lucked out. You don't get better <laughs> but, than that. But he pinned... You know, Jernigan was pinned on Thap, and he just ripped right around the outside. And it wasn't even like he he made a move <clears throat> to the front, and everyone kind of chased after him. No. He just, like, disappeared. Disappeared. I think the winners in these events have been excellent today. Like, Gavin's pass was excellent. Mm -hmm. um, in the 3K this morning in D1s, yeah. Matt's I, pass was excellent. Yeah, like, at, was Tyler perfect. was excellent. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really veteran racing, <coughs> it looks like. Hanover boy just went over a height that if I tried as hard as I could, probably not kick that bar off. And could that was his first jump of the bar? meet. First jump of the meet. He and might have just won sitting down. with his first jump. <laughs> yeah, if he hits his opening height, he wins. He wins. <laughs> 
I, I had a kid that could jump uh, six three, and he, he most meets he could out jump everybody. And I always wanted to come in after everybody else. He wouldn't do it just to be nice. All right, here we go. They're pretty even through 100. Got Morgan Canner moving up. Got Aaron Cardi is going to take that. 45 6 0. Lutz from Muscoma, 46 13. Bagnato from Hanover, 46 2 7. And Cantor, 46 3 8. Second heat, we've got Lauren McPhee of Kingswood, Natalie Highmark of Sauhegan, Emma Kennedy of Sauhegan, and Maya Thomas of Goffstown. All right, I just want to say uh, I looked up the national standards for the 600. It's 123.4. Wow. wow. So uh, he just went almost a second under the uh, national standard there. He's going to be he's After, gonna be psyched. like, not being anywhere close to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> is there, like, elite <clears throat> and sub-elite standards? Um, or is it just one? That was the championship standard. Okay. Um... Let me see. The Rising Stars standard is 126. Cool. All right, here we go. Looks like Kingswood's making up the stagger pretty fast. We only have three in here. We are missing Thomas one of the Sauhean girls. Out pretty hot. She is. Looks like Kingswood's moving up on the inside. Hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But I think Thomas has this. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh I think she I, I think it was Thomas on the outside. She almost made me Thomas, eat my world. 44 eat my 4 words. 8. McPhee, 44 5 6. High mark, 46. Five nine, in the heater heat we've got Holly Furman of Newmarket, Anushka Shavda of Cole Brown, Maddox Lovely of Newport again back for I think her third event, and Kylie Raposa of Kingswood. Maddox has the fastest time by a tenth. Yeah, she's definitely not going to be alone in this race. Here we go. Holly Furman from Newmarket coming not from in the blocks. Oh, doesn't look like she needs them. Making up the stagger in 100 on Shavda. Kylie Raposa way out on the outside, hard to say. <clears throat> Shavda's up on Maddox now. I think she has it. Yeah, that's a pretty big bleed, I think. Even with the stagger. Raposa way out wow. front here. He's going to take this. Time. 42 high. 42.74. Shavda from Cobrown, 4391. Furman from Newmarket, 44. 4 9 and lovely from Newport 44 9 6. All right, first seat of the boys 300. We got Henry Bruno of Hollis Brookline, Junior McKinnon of Pelham, Eric Wilkinson of Newport, and Dominic Picone of Campbell. Just heard him call the check in for the 15. 
We're getting right to this meet. We are. Which is good because it's getting up to my bedtime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lights are on and hand over. So I just heard that Gavin just qualified for the 400 at Nationals. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, by a decent amount, too. Yeah, we've been knowing that. Stay over here. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. He's got McKinnon. Phases. Yeah, McKinnon, <laughs> McKinnon is made up the stag. I don't want to see phase three. Phase three, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, he's gonna make it. Oh yeah. Thirty-seven, seven, seven. Officially, they'll give him thirty-seven, eight, five. Wilkinson with 38.59, Pacone 38.67, and Bruno 39.80. Second heat, we've got Tim Kelm, Tim Kelm of Portsmouth Christian, Shane McKean of Sanborn, Keen Swise of Oyster River, and Rory's guy, Carson Ben of Sauhegan. Four by eight, yeah. 55, 300. Jack of all trades. <laughs> I'm gonna get Gavin over here, ask him why he ran so slow all year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, I can't believe he's not over here already. I know. Well, I'm actually, plugging him himself. I was kind of surprised you didn't just I've been run telling you that through the line yeah, and right. turn around and come over to the desk here. <laughs> Did you guys say I was sick for two weeks? <laughs> 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 I would assume they're using him in the 4x4. Four four. Yep. Probably the 4x2. If not, uh, they ought to. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Calm is going to be a little crank that he didn't win the 55. Wow, they're closing up on your man. Carson Ben. He's a phase three kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is hanging on. He's he, right well, there. Look at you. you are not wrong. Hey. Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the allure of the Yeah, outside. he's actually coming back here. Here we go. Oh. McKean takes that. 37-6-1, even though I think he tripped himself up a little bit there coming in the line. Kelm, second, 37-9-7. Penn, 38-3-6. And Swise, 38-5-2. The heater section, DJ Chaudhry of Campbell, Talon Ouellette of Oyster River, Ty Doro from Oyster River, and Matthew Corvo from Coe Brown. Sheedy wants to know who we think will win the Super Bowl. Sheedy wants to know what? Who we think will win the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl? Yeah. What's that? Come <laughs> on, Sheedy, <laughs> Sheedy, stay on topic here. We're, we're yeah, busy. Right. Which one has the prettier uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Rihanna's playing tonight. Is That's that true? Yeah, I think game. Rihanna's going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know who Rihanna is. Oh my God! Oh, I know it's a singer, but oh, like, how would I know? Oh my God! <laughs> Why would I know who it is? You're lying. You just don't, I don't know. Admit you're lying. I don't know. I don't know a song. I know she's singer. Oh! Oh! What do we got? What do we got? We got uh, Oyster River. Tidoro. Tidoro. He is He's out. But Co Brown, who do we have for Co Brown? Corvo. 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 He's hanging. I think he needed someone in front of him just uh Sometimes, right? Yeah. And Doro. Wow. He's gonna take this. Wow. That was fast. 
Thirty-six-two-nine. Thirty-six-three-five for Doro. Nice job, Gavin. Corvo, thirty-seven twenty-one. Awesome. We got Ouellette in thirty-seven fifty-one and Chaudhry from Campbell thirty-seven fifty-six. All right, so we get get rid of the short events that no one cares about. What? We we we've got Demas in here causing trouble. All right, girls, fifteen hundred. Brianna Malone. Mackenzie Cook. Did I hear Sheldon's out, right? Uh, Haley Cavanaugh from Oyster River. Maya Brochu from Bow. Tripling back. Isabella Hastings from Lebanon. Emma Schaumlaufel doubling back. Amelia Hill from Conan. Aaron O'Shea doubling back. Elias McKenna from Newmarket doubling back. Riley Barner from John Stark. And Amelia Smith. Way out in the outside lane. Who taught her that? Probably her <laughs> dad, right? It's a little surprising. Cobrown girls are in second right now. Nice. Um, without Sheldon, who would right. have gotten well, them, like, a it's pretty still significant be in amount second of points. Without Sheldon, because yeah. she hasn't run yet either. True. <laughs> All right. Brianna Malone out front. We've got the pair from Oyster River and Cook and Kavanaugh. In second, Maya Brochu behind that. We've got Isabella Hastings, then Amelia, uh, Amelia Hill. We've got Emma Shamalafel, Aaron O'Shea there. Yeah, so bringing up the team scores here, um, Oyster River is going to get a decent amount of points here. Um, they're currently in fourth, but it's real close. Um, Newark is in first with 29, Cobrown 26, Kearsarge also 26, and Oyster River 23 and a half. Um, so pretty much all four of those teams are, are right in it. Brianna's threw in 78 for 400. These Oyster River girls are just sophomores. Yeah. So I know in the next couple of years, they're going to be dominating on the distance side. So Brianna just cruising, followed by the Oyster River girls. Then we got Maya Brochu. LJ. Battle for Fourth looks pretty good between Brochu, Hastings, and Hill. Well, it looks like she's letting them back in. It almost seems like she's just trying to stay far enough out that yeah. if they make a hard move, she can cover and advance. The 78's not super fast. Not super slow either. Brochu's having a heck of a day today. She's been busy. She's been busy. She's pulling the triple that I didn't want my <laughs> junior girl to do because of that. All right, Malone with seven meters over, I believe that's Cook, with Kavanaugh, and right on her. Brochu. Oh, it looks like it's getting a little tough for Brochu. Hastings, Hill, Malone's and Sean Lawful. I don't think it's in her best interest to let these girls back into the race. No, 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 no. And they are, they, they, they're right there now. Yeah. Two laps to go. If I was sitting in second, third, I, I, would, I would have a lot of hope right now. Absolutely, I think. Hope. hope the Oyster helps River a girl, lot. sorry. I mean, I think, I think it probably not really expecting to be in that position yeah. anyway. So like, yeah, you know, this kind of gives you a shot. Yep. Yeah. 
He might give like, it a shot. She's probably debating if she should just pass her now or let it her make like a move Kavanaugh and try to respond. Looks like Kavanaugh right there, trying to figure that out. Yeah, she's thinking about it. I wouldn't think any longer. I. Wow. Good for Cook. This is going to be an awesome race. Rather than just letting her have it, for sure. I mean, I think with Malone having the top time in the 300 as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I think she has it locked up. But Cook is Ooh, there. Here we oh, go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. She might. Whoa. <clears throat> and there's traffic. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, wow. wow. That's a wow. race. Right at the five-minute five mark. Five. Wow. Yeah, I think that's a lot closer than anybody yeah. expected that to be. So we got to Malone, 459.82. Cook, 500.04. Kavanaugh, 503.38. Yeah, Cook almost We've pulled the upset. We've got Brochu yeah. on her triple. Then Amelia Hill. Then Hastings. That's a big that load awesome. of points for Oyster River. That is. That was race of the day, for me at least. <laughs> that was oh, cool. Oh, we got a race to line there. Yeah, that's going to bump up Oyster River well into first place in the team that scores. That two, three. Yeah, so All right. that's what, 14 points? Boys 1,500, sitting in the one slot. The one, the only, Aiden Cox. Sitting in two is Jamie Leno, Tyler Kazik in three, Lucian Glazier of Hanover in four, Chase Hall in five from Goffstown, Thomas Wolf from Lebanon in six, Nikhil Chavda back in seventh, Will Trip Williams from uh, Pelham in eighth, Dalen Norda from Sahogin in nine, Eli Lemire from John Stark in ten. William Samard of Conval in 11, and Owen Stein back again in yeah. 12. Well, this is a stacked field. I mean, that is a stacked field. Four kids, four ten or faster. Under four ten. A lot of red and yellow up front here. Aiden out to the lead. Yeah, he'll try to get out and stay out. Yeah. Again, I think they probably have a plan where what we're looking at is to get yeah. Aiden out of sight so the back of that race can do its thing. Tyler Kasich was stuck on the rail in about 10th and then now is out on Jamie Lane's shoulder. <laughs> so again, they want one, two, three from a point stand. I mean, it, it worked pretty well in the, in the 3K yep. where yep. they kind of just let everybody other than Aiden yep. kind of just do their own thing. Another th State record under your belt might feel pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, what do we have? 357. 357. He just went through in 105. Maybe even faster. 406 from Jonathan Vindenberg. Got Leno going around to assume the lead from the uh, chase pack. He's got Tyler right by behind him, and who behind him? Nick Hill Shabda. So right now they're going one, two, three, four. Glazier just uh -oh. jumped in there. He's got 800. 800 to go. 800 to go out 150. <laughs> yeah. 207 is doable. <laughs> That's yes, very it doable. is. Yeah. All right. Second Chase Leno. Kasich in third. Glazier in fourth. Nick Hill in fifth. That's big points. Shaking his arms Shaking out. Shaking his arms out. 220 with two, three to go. Yeah, Aiden's picking it up. 
He's going to have the back of that field and sight on this straightaway. Barely, but he'll see it. This so now the record and then some. That's super helpful, too. So the field has, or Jamie has 50-ish on Aiden with there three laps. Tyler just took over. He's going to see the back of the field in a second. Right there. Yeah. 400 out. 252 with two to go. 65. He just looked around. Look to his side. I don't even see anybody over there. He's probably looking for Jamie. There we go. He is on the back of the pack with one to go. One to go. Two, three, twenty-five. Wow. Very doable. <laughs> Does he? He's Same going around. 32. Tyler and Leno making a bid for home. Chavda mixing it up again. Wow. Come on, Chavda. Let's go, Nick Hill. Here we go. Oh, 54, okay. 5, 56, 7. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. I don't think so. So we have 57, 60. 58, 06. Oh. 58, 06, but he goes on to the Division II record. Division II. And By here we lot. go. Leno coming around wow. Kazik into the finish. 417, 418. 18. That's not bad with their workload today. And Gleiser. 423. And Chavda. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Love it. Love it. Leno 418. Kazik 418. Gleiser 422. Chavda 424. And Stein. 426. All yep. right, here we go. Bringing out the girls four by fours. We've got Kennan, Conant, Mescoma Valley, Lebanon, and Messenic. Looking at the Messenic team, I see that uh, Amelia Smith pulled the short straw and is running the third leg. She just came off the 1500. So that's not going to be pretty. That's eh, a 400. It is. <laughs> She's standing there, can't even breathe, <laughs> and yawning. I'd give somebody five bucks to, like, trip over the track or something, delay it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fake puke or something. Yeah, be like, here, Mom, like, you know, spill your coffee or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor. Well, here we go. All right. Looks like Conan out to the early lead. See who gets to the break line first. Not sure these people realize they're standing right in our way. We're going into the break first. We got Conan, Lebanon, Kennett, Messenic making a maroon move around the outside. Into third now, Kennett in fourth, Muscoma Valley in fifth. All right, Conan through. Out of lane one! Not really sure why he... <laughs> Don't realize everybody else wants to run in that. But it could be a good plan to stomp up the inside lane, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think really you just want to be predictable. Yeah. 
Like exactly. Just, just don't be like, oh, I should get off the track and just right, run right, right. 90 degrees to the Slow left down, for some reason. Give you know, something to look at. All right, Conan out. Followed by Lebanon. Mascoma Valley is coming on Messenic right now. <clears throat> and then Kennett. Conan's gonna stay out, I think. Looks like everybody's rigging a little bit. See, I'd be interesting to see how the heater heat goes with Newmarket, because they've got Hagen and the girl that came in second in the 600. I'm sure they're on that four by four. Uh, it's going to be important for the uh, team team scores. Oh yeah, New Market's currently in second. Yeah, it's it's wow. going to be pretty interesting, I think. Go D three, actually D four size yeah. wise. That's pretty impressive. All right, Conant, Mascoma, Lebanon. Messinic and Kennet. I like these purple Muscoma uniforms. Those What's that? I like the purple Muscoma uniforms. Those are pretty sweet. Well, and highly identifiable. Yeah, right? I mean, it's it's pretty unusual. There's not really any other team that does, that's that color. No. And they just went around the lead. So they're taking it first. And it looks like... Lebanon. Then it'll be Conan. And then Messinic. Right on it. All right, Muscoma. About 30 meters on Lebanon. Conan's eating into that. The scenic staying where they are in fourth. Scoma's running away from this heat. It'll be interesting to see if they not poach anything out of the heat or heat, but it's their time to stand up to the heat too. Wow, the race for seconds closing up. The scenic's coming on hard, but I don't know if they got enough time. Muscoma takes it. That's going to be Lebanon, the scenic, and Conan. So Muscoma 454, Lebanon 459, Messenic 501, Conan 501, Kennett 511. In the second section, we've got Bo, Hollis, Merrimack Valley, Sanborn, and Coe Brown. And I'm looking over and I see one bro shoe. I see a second bro shoe, and I know there's only twins, so that means Maya bro shoe is gonna have run the four by eight, the three K, the fifteen, and the four by four. Trying to hit her mileage total for the yeah. week. Yeah, <laughs> she was a little short coming into today, <laughs> so she's like, "Coach, I need you to put me in four uh, different distance four events, events here." <laughs> Well, you could just go on a long cool down, though. Nah. That's no fun. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot of people today are stacking up on events. Yeah. Well, Maya's a, a senior, so maybe this is what she wants, you know? They, they're not after a team title or anything. Yeah. It so. is interesting. A lot of people kind of complain about doing that many events, but some people yeah. are like, some people no, put it. me yeah, in yeah, everything, yeah. you know? 
Well, if this could be your last indoor experience. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, as we get ready for the first exchange, we got Cole Brown with Hollis Brookline closing him up a little bit. And Sanborn, Merrimack Valley, and Bo. See, Bo's had some pretty good comebacks today. Yeah. Well, when you put Maya Brochu in some of the later legs, and then Insana as your anchor, you know she's going to go with 120 to go. <laughs> All right, Cole Brown's out. Hollis Brookline with Sanborn chasing. Merrimack Valley. Bo. Looks like Hollis Brookline stove off uh, the Merrimack Valley charge. Or uh, the Sanborn charge, I'm sorry. Bo Brown at the handoff, followed by Hollis Brookline, Sanborn, Merrimack Valley, and the baton into the hands of Maya Brochu. Bo Brown opening up a little bit of a gap here. So Maya Brochu has the same, almost the same deal as Isabella uh, McIntyre earlier today, but Isabella ran the 1,000 instead of the 3K. And she got uh, two state championships out of it. Yes, she did. <laughs> no, not too shabby. No. All right, Hollis Brookline with Sanborn closing down are closing in on Cole Brown. Cole Brown will get the handoff first, but Sanborn next. Oh, and they, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a little messy. Once they're into the straightaway, you don't adjust. Stay where you're at. Merrimack Valley at the handoff. And Maya Brochu handing off. Looks a little gassed, which I don't blame her for. Yeah, I think I think she's earned that. Yes, um, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Cole Brown takes the bell in the lead. Hollis Brookline and Sanborn right there. They're closing hard on her. Hollis Brown Brookline needs some points out of this almost too. Almost made that connection. You can get a lot of. Pretty excited when you see the straightaway. Wow, this is tightening up. It'll be Cole Brown, Hollis, then Sanborn, but barely. And Insana is doing her thing. Insana doing <laughs> Insana the same things. Spot. She's got a mark <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh my. Find that girl a 120 meter race. I was just reading the um, track regulations and there's a there's a rule in there that you can't put markings on the track. Yeah. Um, even not even like markings on the track, but if you put like a water bottle or something like on the side of the track to like let you know a certain point. It's um, illegal. It's Give illegal. You. Yeah. Wow. Huh. I did not know that. Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. All right, the final section of the girls four by four. We got Belmont, Hanover, Kearsarge, 
New Market and Oyster River. The uh, Division II records for 11. Uh, New Market's in with 426. I know they want this event. They need this event. <laughs> they need it. Well, yeah. This matters. Like, <laughs> um, the thing is, so if they win this, that puts them, well, depending on how Oyster River does. 39. Um, but, yeah, so Oyster River has 39 and a half right now. So if Newmarket wins this, that puts them at 39. Right. Newmarket is currently in fifth spot with Oyster River in second. Here, Sergeant, first. Yeah, Keir Sarge is in the hunt, too, actually. Um, they're currently in fourth, 26 points. Well, they're going to take the handoff first. That's Allison, their distance, leading off. Ooh. New market's down quite a bit. That's a lot to make up. Still a lot of race left. There is. All depends how you set it up too, right? Yep. Kearsarge, Oyster River, Belmont, Newmarket had been in last, now is in third. And seconds within view. They're right in it. Kearsarge handing off first. But Oyster River right there. Belmont, New Market. Oh, what happened? Wow. Here, Sarge out to a good lead. Oyster River, New Market making grounds on wow. second. And Belmont. They got a decent four. anchor. What's that? I said they got a decent anchor. Yes, too. they do. <laughs> Generally, everyone does too, but. Yeah. I, I would put Hagen on anchor for every day of the week. Not really sure exactly what I'm seeing there, but Kearsarge gets the zone first. Oyster River and New Market pretty much even. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. And New Market's right in it. Hagen trying to go around. Hopefully, she's not working too hard yet. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> she was kind of wedged in lane one there for a second. Oh, no, no, please. Oh. Oh, boy. If you're watching this, it might look like Hanover's leading, but they're a lap down. Hagen from Newmark in the lead. Yeah, Hanover it's still could, super could kind of mix things up, though. Oyster River in second. Kearsarge in third. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. Wow. Please. Oh, I, Oyster, Oyster River Oyster takes River it. Took that. With the lead at the line. Wow, it's got to be super tight because it's taking wow. forever to come up. Oyster River. Oyster River, 351, 34, 351, 35, 100. 
Belmont 4003. Wait, they haven't put Newmark yet. Wait. Yeah, what? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, it should be Oyster River, then Newmarket. Yeah. What? It, DQ? <laughs> no. No, Why they're, they're still coming up. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm going to read off the boys, but I'm interested <laughs> in the girls finish here. Muscoma Valley, St. Thomas Aquinas, Newport, Milford, and Sowhegan. Oyster oh. River. All four, right, there we go. Three, five, four. 22 3 8, 4 22 8 2, 4 36 1 6 and 4 59 7 1. Hanover's wow. time doesn't even win the slow heat. Now so. I know Hanover earned the right to have a team in there, but that did not help that race at all. <laughs> Made it pretty interesting there at the Made end. Made it pretty <laughs> interesting, but. Uh, the outcome might have been a little different if they weren't Definitely there. Kind of squeeze that inside lane coming into the finish. <clears throat> Again, they earned their right to be there, but when you're an entire lap down in the heater heat. Yeah, it gets a little crazy. Well, here we go. Tight up front here, too, to the brake line. St. Thomas takes the inside, then Milford, Newport. So Hegan and back to Muscoma Valley. Newport making a hard move around. Newport, St. Thomas, and Milford. Solid handoffs. Well, we got Newport. St. Thomas and Milford right there. So Hegan's trying to climb back in. Muscoma Valley down about 30 meters on fourth. St. Thomas trying to go around coming into the handoff. Newport will hold them off. Newport, St. Thomas, Sauhegan, Milford. Mascoma. All right, looking at the updated results here, that four by four win puts Oyster River out of reach. Um, of anybody. Of anybody, yeah, so that was pretty big there. That was pretty big. Newport's third leg has opened up a gap on St. Thomas. But uh, Sauhegan is now right up. Holy moly, he is making some inroads. He might wow. go from fourth to first. Nope. Newport will take the handoff first on the final leg. So Hegan in second. St. Thomas and Milford. Definitely helped out So Hegan a lot there. Yeah. That lead seems like it'll be tough to do much about, but the way that So Hegan third leg did it. Maybe. Well, well, well. We've got Hollis Brookline schooling up. They've found the same pink speedo, not speedo <laughs> that the girls had. And here we go. It's going to be Newport. 
Followed by Milford. And so he again in St. Thomas. So Newport 347, Milford 350, so Egan 351, St. Thomas 351 as well. And we still got uh, Muscoma Valley on the track coming around. And there we go. Second heat has Conan, Campbell, Portsmouth Christian, oh, Hollis Brookline, and Pelham. See the Sawyer brothers from Conan over there. Sawyer brothers? Yeah. There's more than one? Jacob Sawyer and Ben Sawyer. Oh, really? Is Jake a uh, freshman? I don't know. How am I supposed to remember that stuff? I don't know. All right. Getting their block set up. So theoretically, Hollis Brook. Hollis Brookline should just run away with it. Theoretically, uh, yeah, I mean, they get almost 10 seconds on the yeah. field. They, they could legitimately place. But crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. I think I'd want to place if I was wearing a wacky uniform combination like yeah. that. But... <laughs> I have to say, probably I'd be more into wearing that color short, but I'm not into spandex. You like the spandex, <laughs> Patrick? A little bit. Spandex I used man. them last year. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. So, uh, I heard Gandini's coming for the 300 hurdles this year. That's what I said. <laughs> hurdles, yeah, pole vault, javelin. Uh, Give someone else a break for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're out hard. Can't really tell at this point. Is the middle lane, is that Portsmouth Christian? Yes. He's out. Actually, very well, yeah. To right the break to the front. line first, that's Kelm. Right on Hall's Brookline. No surprise that he can run pretty fast. 55, 300 meter guy. 55. <clears throat> Kelm? Yeah. Sounds pretty slow. You mean huh? 35. <laughs> 30. All right. Portsmouth Christian's going to take it in the lead. Oh, no, no, no. They did take it in the lead. Nervous about missing the zone. Hallsbrook uh, <laughs> There we go. Whoops. Wow. Tallest Brookline taking command. Again, they... Essentially 10 seconds ahead of everybody. Wow. Conan's making a strong move. They are. The back. It's Nathan Alajajan. Distance guy, but he's certainly a workhorse. He likes to hurt, so. That's good for a four by four uh, uh, leg. Two. Only three seconds back is Pelham. Wow. Ooh. Sizable lead for Hollis Brookline. Then Pelham, then Conan, Campbell, Portsmouth Christian. Nice. 
tell things are getting serious. We've got teams walking up with their own blocks. All right, Hollis, Brooklyn, 246. Pelham, Pelham, Pelham 252. I think Hollis is going to have to take this one, but we're going to have a pretty you tight You think they're going to have to? I think they're going to want to. <laughs> that race for seconds crazy, though. Yep. Pelham, Campbell, and Conant. Wow. Yeah. Well, watch out for Ben, ben Sawyer, right? Yeah. Co yeah. Considering that he, most of his training. Oh, is... Pelham got tripped up right there. Didn't oh. they, wasn't it Pelham kid that? Or one of the kids hit the rail in there already. Yeah. Yeah, the impressive part, I think, for Ben Sawyer and his brother is they get uh, the vast majority of their training on the basketball court. All right, the Eater Heat, Merrimack Valley, Lebanon, Cope Brown, Hanover, and Oyster River. And who do I see on anchor for Cope Brown? The newly minted 600 phenom, self-crowned Gavin, Gavin Demis. Demis. And no Aiden Cox. No Aiden Cox. Isn't that something? You're Aiden Cox. You're not fast enough to run in the four by a four. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably not beneficial to put him in this, really. No, no um. <laughs> not at all. I mean, what do the team scores look like? They're up by a oh yeah, no, it does substantial not amount. It doesn't all. matter. Um. And for something like this, all you're asking for is trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I think all four of the guys in this race um, are, are going to be pretty significantly faster than him in a 400. Yeah. yeah. So. I've got Jamie Lano waving to us. I mean, you Let's have meet. Ben and Gavin who are right up there. In I mean, the right, they're like the 600 yeah, guys. They're yeah. It. You got Jamie. Jamie, who's like an 800,000 guy. Yep. And then um, Matthew Corvo, who in outdoor runs the 400 yeah that's he runs like 50 point i think or 51 uh, low. yeah and that's ex they're out hard we Almost do have look. hanover seated nine seconds ahead of co brown right yeah oh yeah, they've got a really that's good not gonna help team. though yeah they got kind of squeezed off that is tight 250 wow. in. All right, yeah, now Hanover is trying to go back up front. They got to go around the outside to do it, I though. Doro just, I don't know, he pulled a Tasmanian devil or something. <laughs> no, it's Valley. Valley. Oyster River. Oyster River. Hanover. Hanover. Cole Brown in Lebanon. In Lebanon. Chris Jernigan is, he's moving. He is. He's gonna go around the outside in this corner, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, straight wow. into first, wow. Yeah, flies by. Merrimack wow. Valley's not going away though. No, they're not. The Hanover is closing. They're right there. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you have to imagine with their seed time, like, they're going to put something together. Yeah. Wow, Hanover. And yeah, they hand off in second. Oh, oh, no. Maybe they don't hand off in second. Well, they hand it off in second. Oh, no. Oh, no. That wow. was a mess of a handoff. We had fumbles, we had crashes, we had everything there. Here you go, 
The Oyster River is yeah, they're cruising. out. Yeah, Merrimack Valley's paying for trying to hang there. Leno's closing up. Yeah, but yeah, he's a, putting Cole Brown right back in it. Hand it to Demas, but that's going to be a lot. To, that's a big gap. Yeah. They got what, Doro on anchor? Yeah, this is going to be a, a good time for Moist River. Wow. This is going to be a really good time. Oh, I don't for know. Oyster River's not. He doesn't. Is he in the four by two as well? Yeah, he's not going. Yeah, he isn't. He's got to be in nope. the four by two. Interesting. Yep. Wow. The handover's closing. Very interesting. I'm sure he's got people telling him, right? Yeah, the handover's oh. right there. They're right there. This is going to be close. Oh my. Oh, he's going. He's oh. going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're good. Yeah, they're not going to. see his him. arms. I don't know I would have done it that way, but. Yeah. The Warren Oyster River is going to take this 338. Yeah, maybe you give it a little Almost more gas. Stuff. And then you don't have yeah, to hit that hard. 340, <laughs> Merrimack Valley 340, Go Brown 342, and Lebanon. 351. All right, girls four by two. First heat, Lebanon, Sanborn, Muscoma Valley, and St. Thomas. Yeah, I think uh, Oyster River might have been able to grab the Division II record there if they didn't back if off. They didn't, yeah. yeah. I would say definitely. And look at the look at the names on there. Yeah. In. I don't know how you say it. Nian Heo, Duckett, Zep. I mean, that was a and, and Sebastian boys. Eaton. Yeah. Yeah, those just those are fast boys. Yeah, that that Trinity team was nuts. Yeah, it was. I think it was the. I think it was the exact same. Their four by four and their four by two was like exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, that uh, that Trinity team was like all like 200, 400, 800 was like that whole team. And, uh, and they got a championship out of it. Yep. Because they were loaded in mid-distance. All right. They had like two or three kids running like 48, 49 in the yeah, 400. Wow. <laughs> well, what was it? Zepp and Woodman going at it in the 400? Mm. Uh, MOCs. like Sanborn right now on the inside making up that's St. Thomas St. Thomas St. Thomas Sanborn Muscoma are they still out outside lane yeah they're in lane two saw this earlier today as well we did Oh, that, that was lane, lane four, right? right? Well, that was lane crazy. five, I think, <laughs> for South. <laughs> yeah. We're in a 250 leg. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a pretty big stagger in lane yeah, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. St. Thomas, Lebanon, Muscoma, and Sanborn. They are out. They're moving out front. St. Thomas can take it with a big lead going into the anchor. Sanborn making it up on like three. Girl from Muscoma is flying though. Head down. <laughs> St. Thomas is going to take this one easy. See what they run for a time. 202. 
203.21, Muscoma back 207.37, Sanborn 208.94, and Lebanon 211.36. All right, our second heat. Uh, Hollis Brookline, Pelham, Kennett, and Belmont. I'm looking across the track. And who do I see anchoring for Kennett? Ada Wheat. They get the fastest time in this heat. So not wanting to uh, let the cat out of the bag, but have the uh, winners been figured out here? Um, the boys' winner has been figured out for a while. Yeah. Um, that one was not too close today. The girls' winner was determined at the end of 4x4, four four, right? Yes, except um, someone just commented on the live stream and brought to my attention that the girls' 600 has not actually been scored yet. Ooh. And there are multiple girls in that final, or the fast heat, that are on the top two or yeah. three teams. Yeah, because Newmark finished second right. in that. Wow. And, and, well, Oyster, River, and was. Oyster River was in that heat, and Kearsarge yep. is also in that yep. heat. And they're the top three teams. Ah. So. I like it. I'm Hold not out one too of sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here we go. Into the first handoff. We have Belmont and Pelham. Belmont with a slightly better handoff. Ooh, they're bumping out lane three. Ooh. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. <laughs> Days of Thunder. That's also where my favorite, my famous line came from. I'm Which dropping one? the hammer. Is no, that a no, no. Tompers movie? Yeah, of yeah, course yeah. it is. Yeah, I gotcha. Yep. Belmont coming to the second handoff. First, Pelham second. Hollis Brookline. And Kennett. Now, Kennett was the top seeded team. Kennett's closing. And they're going to be running wheat last. Well, they're Hollis and oh. Brookline closing, too. Yeah. This is closing up. I like this with in wheat's hand. But that's a lot to come back from. Yeah, they oh, handed off almost even Belmont. there. Belmont's handoff was a little iffy. Oh, look at wheat. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Cream of wheat. Oh, my what goodness. Is this? Yikes. This is unbelievable. Got to get around, but geez. Oh, I think she's got it. I do, too. Oh, wow. master wow. class. Wow. <laughs> How many seconds left? 159.21. Last, last to first. Last to in first. In one leg. If you ain't first, wow. you're last. Yeah, let me look at the 159.56. Uh, on that six. one. like a 25 split. That was so fast. Hollis Brookline, 201, and Belmont, 202. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. 159.20. All right. In our third heat, we have Bo, Pembroke, Cole Brown, and Sauhegan. Let's see if the 159 2 stands. It's not too often you see a close like that in a 4 by 2 No. From last to first. Last to down first. By a couple and seconds. down, what would that have been? 20? Yeah. I mean, the in the 4 by 2 there's just not enough and ground not, to make up. And Seriously. not enough. I mean, you got to go around. It's yeah. so hard. You're already full speed. I mean, she must have had like 20 meters on her, too. <laughs> yeah, that was really impressive. 
We'll have to check what like the fastest lap speeds were for yeah. the four by two. That's gonna be it. That was crazy. I but I think it. what's interesting is Did she win the two hundred? They didn't have the a they don't run two hundred. No. Fifty five. Yeah. I think it's odd that Kenneth had a one thirty four. No 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 no. So these are they seed them off their one sixties. Oh but okay, they run never mind. Yep. Because of UNH, too many, too many gotcha. of the events are at UNH, so they got to do yeah. that. Yeah, it's pretty. Confusing. Yeah, I was confused because <laughs> yeah. that's a big difference. They ran great, but so yeah. twenty seconds. Yeah, stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure it oh, out. Oh, Cobra makes up the stagger early. Bo's going around as well. Yeah, that's the card. She was in the. Uh, I think the hurdles and the 55 yep. finals. Solid handoff. Bo as well. Oh. oh. Tough one for Pembroke. Oh, Sahegan. Closing up on Bo. Both closing a little bit on Cole Brown, but they're not going to get there. Will Brown out, so Hegan, little trouble with the baton. Bo and Pembroke, all, everybody's right there. Bo going around, so Hegan. Yeah, Bo's moving up. Yep. And that looks like we got Chavda on anchor. Solid handoff. Oh, good handoff. Pembroke, Sauhegan. I don't think anybody's catching Chavda. I don't think so. She did look around, though, on the outside. Yeah. Ooh. No Odd. sense looking there. Especially in if you're not in the fastest heat. Right. Like, who cares about the people behind you? You know, right, you're right, running right, for right, time right. now. Yeah, exactly. 155. Ooh. Well, that's 159 is going to beat Bo's time. So, Cole Brown, 155, Bo, 159, Pembroke, one, 201, and Sauhegan, 202. All right. The Heater Heat, Oyster River, Newmarket, Kingswood, and Milford. So, not knowing where everything is. Newmarket. What did you say? Newmarket and it's Newmarket, Oyster River, and Kearsarge are Kearsarge. kind of fighting it out. So Co Brown doesn't gain in anything in this. Yeah, I think so. Kearsarge is in third with 32. Newmarket second with 37. Oyster River has 49 and a half. Um, the 600 still not being covered. right. So we don't know about the 600. I do know there was um, an Oyster River girl in the 600 final heat, so that should kind of mitigate the Whatever. new market yeah, yeah, score. Yeah. So I think Oyster River should be okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, they're gonna probably score some at least some points here, and that should seal it for them. You got new market in this one too, though. And they got a faster seed time than Oyster River, but yeah, I think as, as moving long up as, incrementally. I think as long as Oyster River just gets points, pretty much any points here, yeah, they yeah, should yeah. be they should be okay. But we shall see. And then on the boys' side. Uh, Kind of a battle for second. Oyster River is 32, Hanover 28. So that could go either way. Mm. And what's Cobra Brown at? Cobra Brown has 101. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's An Oyster River is in the heat or heat of the 4 by 2 Hanover's in the second fastest. Yeah, so I think Oyster River should be able to take second as long as they run a decent... Looks like Kingswoods. I think that's McPhee. 
On Kingswood? I think it's Raposa, isn't it? Raposa, I mean. Yep. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Getting them off to a good start here. Oh, Kingswood Solid hand up. Clean. Very good. Not sure why if you're in the outside lane, you turn toward the inside after handing off. But. So Kingswood, Milford, Oyster River, and Newmarket. Whoa, that was close. I think so. Kingswood uh, was pretty late on that handoff. Um, I don't, but I think the the girl in front basically just stopped right at the I arrow. Probably, yeah. You have to be fully inside the zone for it to count. I don't think we had an official checking it out, but Rick Berryman's right there. Yeah. Of course, he's on everything, so. I think they were okay. Because the, wow, dead stop by Oyster River there. Yeah, that's really not what you want to do. In no, a no, 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 no. Kingswood way out now. Way out. New market just went around Oyster River. That helps their cause. What do we got? Kingswood 151. Be New Market in second. 156. Oyster River in third. 157. And Milford did not finish. I didn't see Milford, where uh, that. They stepped out right here. Uh, the athlete. Taking the handoff didn't really run, and then she stepped outside trying to stop off the rail. Stepped outside of the rail. And why didn't she continue? She didn't. She stepped outside of the rail for too many steps. Really? How did you miss it? It was right there. How do you? What, because what? I was looking around the track. You can't be in here, folks. This is the timing. <laughs> Holy macaronis. It's only a track meet, people. Yeah, we've, we've had a few of those today. Right through the finish line. Yeah, I'm like, you can cross the track. Just do but it my, somewhere else, <laughs> you know? But my kid just finished. I'm going home. All right. I don't think I announced this right. Boys 4x2, Campbell, Hollis, Belmont, Kennett. Oh, I'm looking up. What do I see? Campbell, And Hollis, why do you like the 4x2? And Kennett. What? What do you like about the 4x2? One lap. I like it better when it's starting. Just go. <laughs> I say four by two, one heat, no holes barred. No lanes. Waterfall no lane. start. Yep. Well, yeah, you start them off a curve. That would be insane. Based on, yeah, that'd be crazy. You can knock batons out of people's hands. That'd be fantastic. Prime time. Yeah, I don't see Belmont in the line out. I heard that they had two kids test positive for COVID, so both on the four by two team. Three years later. Three Still years later. Messing things up. All right. They call us Brookline, making up the turn over Kennett. They come in pretty even. Hollis Brookline gets the edge. That is more arm action than I've seen by anyone out there today. The arms pump the legs, I suppose. Yep, it's working. Kennett, Hollis, Brookline, and Campbell. Campbell did a great job climbing back in. Ooh, that was a nice handoff. <coughs> Hollis. Yeah, Hollis, Brookline. 
Hollis Brookline would. They are pumping. Here goes oh, that's Campbell. That's a lot of arm action. They're catching Kennett. Let's see how this goes. Kennett taking it right in front of Campbell, and then Hollis. I thought we lost Gandini because uh, 200's out of his wheelhouse. <laughs> I need my snack break. Yeah, <laughs> snack break. Uh -huh. <laughs> Growing boy. Campbell making a run on the outside, and here comes Hollis Brookline, too. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. 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 Nice. A good last leg Brookline. Brookline. Comes from the outside, 145-94. Kennett, 146-27. And Campbell, 146-57. I think that might have been a little excessive celebration for the first heat of it, but. <laughs> Second heat, we got Pembroke, Lebanon, Manchester West, and Merrimack Valley. So stay Manchester in this. What's that? What's the state record in this? State record is 131. 131. Division two record is 134.91. Two different Sauhegan teams. 2020, I would have been there for that one. Yeah. Right now you would have been pouting. After the 1500. After <laughs> you know how many times we picked on him about his 1500 today? About your 60 <laughs> second opening lap. <laughs> My college roommates pick on me for it too. Uh, hey, it was bold. It was bold. It was bold. It was excessive. Who uh -huh. won that? Did Andy win that? Andy yeah. O'Brien. <laughs> you know. Whenever you want to know who I've it was Andy's that beat Landon right? to the finish line, the answer yeah. always is Andy O'Brien. Andy O'Brien. <laughs> well, so <laughs> last time we had indoor states, Andy did the 15 3K and won. Yeah. And yep. Aiden did that today. Yeah, 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 yeah. And broke his brother's state record. State record, yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, here we go. Break, uh, 15 record, too. Yeah. We got West out hard. We only got three in this one, two. West takes the handoff first, then Lebanon, then Pembroke. Oh. Outside the zone. Yeah, that's it. Oh. So no that's Merrimack Valley. That's how I think. Oh. Bob Jadari with the throat cut sign. Don't forget, Aiden outside did run a 4x8 as well to do. What's that? Aiden also ran a 4x8 like this. He did? Yeah. He did. All the more impressive. <laughs> there we go. West with the hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of the way. That was a little odd. Oh. That was just yeah. way out. Yeah. Pembroke has a lot of hand dog work to do. I don't, hand -off work to do. I don't think any of the officials were paying attention for that one. They didn't need to. Yeah. They already got him on the first handoff. Yeah. <laughs> what, double DQ? They can do whatever they want at this point. <laughs> the West is yeah. well and away. Yes. Here we go, 139. 39. Got Manchester West there. 139-33, Lebanon 141-48. They're giving Pembroke a 149-46, but I saw they're Bob, yeah, I don't yeah. think Bob telling them. That's not going to stand. That one's not going to stick. Um, all right, so we got the girls' 600 resulting, oh. and it oh. made things a lot closer. Oh. Um, so Oyster River still squeaks out a win, but it ended up being 53 and a half to 51. Wow. Um, which, wow. without the 600, it was not that close. Yeah, I know, it was not. And puts a big gap between New Market and Cole Brown. And it drops yep. Kearsarge out of third, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Kearsarge was up there the whole time. And uh, and then Kingswood bumped up uh, ahead of them, I think, because of the 4x2 yep. and the 600. 
Um, All right, in this one we got Newport, Sanborn, Hanover, and Cole Brown, and they're all here. So Cole Brown's out doing their thing, but the race for a second is close. Yeah. Two points. Uh, yeah, so Hanover yeah, is in the second fastest heat, and then Oyster River is in the fastest in the heat. So yeah. oh. in theory, as long as Oyster River runs a decent uh, race, they, they should be okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Oyster River is two seconds on Hanover, which could change. Yep. That's yeah, I mean, it's the end know, of a meet. <laughs> it depends who you have in the race, who's run already, your handoffs, you know, somebody trips, gets DQ'd. Like, there's a lot of stuff that can happen. I mean, Hanover has the freshest anchor, right? Ian's jump twice, maybe. <laughs> and high jump, that's Good it. Point. Yeah. He's Good fresh. Point. He did, I think he did six foot, six three, six six, and that was yep. it. Yep, and that's it. And then he was done. So, I mean, they've got a fresh anchor if he's feeling Their good and he's quick. second leg's pretty fast, too. Newport takes Newport. it first, then Cole Brown. Oh. Oh, they're in, I think. Wow, what? All right, well, Hanover's going to have to make yeah, up a lot of ground here. they got a little work to do. If they want to make this happen. Oh, Sanborn going around big time. Yeah, because once again, they're not even racing these right. teams. They're racing Ooh. the next team's teams. Yeah, so if all these guys stay out in front of them. Ooh, Hanover. Oh, oh they're good. Newport going, Newport going around. Wow. Newport's got a great sprinting team. They do. They've said some fantastic hurdlers, too. Yep. Oh, Sanborn, oh. great handoff. Plus avoiding the tackle. Oh, Ian does look fresh. He looks quick. I don't think he's that fresh, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty fresh. Fresh Prince of High Air. <laughs> so Sanborn in 140, Newport, Newport Co Brown, and Hanover. Yep. So I think, Sanborn uh, 140. I think Newport, that gives Oyster River the second place. 143 yes. and Hanover 146. So in this seat, the final heat of the day, we got Oyster River, Pelham, Bishop Brady, mm -hmm. And Sal Hegan, based off their 160s, Bishop Brady comes in, top seed with Sal Hegan, then Pelham, and then Oyster River. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are going to talk. We we're talking about they're going to break the state record by like 25 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and interesting, I'm looking at that D2 record again. Sauhegan versus Sauhegan, but did you see the names on the 2016 team? Sebastian Eaton. Sebastian Eaton. Yep. Winning state titles as Trinity and Sauhegan. Yep. All right, it looks like they got their block set, everybody heading back. Bishop Brady's got Jenkos on the lead. A lot, of, a lot easier to see through the crowd now as the numbers have it's kind of quiet in here. gone away. Yeah, it's gone quiet. In theory, Sauhegan could um, take second in this race. It, well, in the team scores, if in they win this scores? race. Yeah. If they win the race, they and, can. Uh, and Oyster River has to, I think, not score or score one point, maybe, which is unlikely, but. It's unlikely, but they are four out of four Brady at the moment. Is through. 
Brady with a great handoff and the lead. Oyster River moved into third ahead of Sao Egan, so that doesn't help their cause right now. But Pelham is oh, Pelham Pelham's coming first. around. Wow. Great oh, handoffs. Hand wow. But Brady, hand Brady traffic. is moving. On the inside. It was that on inside? On the inside? Was How that? I, I think so. Know. Wow. Sometimes you're going so fast it's too hard to stay yeah, in yeah. your lane. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people Especially come a flat that, track. Oh, that outside clean handoff. Like oh, Pelham. Pelham. a great handoff. Pelham's handoff is terrible. Iffy. Iffy. Doro kind of got shuffled into th from second into third. And is that Oyster River in second? No, Pelham. Oh, Pelham, Pelham, okay. So Hegan's coming hard, but he's not going to get there. Brady is away. And wow. Sahegan had a great run there. Oyster. Brady 136, Pelham 137, Sahegan 137. Oyster River jogging in 140. That, they must feel pretty confident. Yeah, that seals the deal. You do got to worry about the guys from the second heat, but they must have been feeling pretty confident. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't think it mattered even if they so got zero go. points. There we go. That wraps it up for the competition anyways. Last last uh, meet we did athlete. We get, we just kind of figured out athlete of the meet. I'm going to have to go with Aiden on the boys I side. I would yep. say Aiden and then Two probably records. Malone. Could be Malone. I, I think you could make a case for eight a week. Yeah, definitely. Um, and again, not knowing all the field events and everything else. But yeah, I mean, Malone's not a bad choice any day of the week. So. Right. Yep. And certainly had a bigger wig workload. But yeah, that was a great, fantastic meet. I see Rory's looking good. <laughs> but I think absolutely for Aiden as somebody that usually is running an event or two, and that's yeah, it, yeah, 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 today yeah. shows up. Runs three pull, events. I mean, not records. that he doesn't pull weight, but yeah, 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 yeah. to show up and do a lot more than he usually does was yeah. really well, good and, to and, see. And almost really helped pay off for the team. team yeah, well. in the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely very, very impressive on his end. Very impressive. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's I mean, one thing to have like a decent double, but, but uh, to be like, what, a couple tenths off of the state record in yeah, your yeah, third yeah. race of the day? Yeah, I think when when O'Brien did that in the 3K, that was it, yep. right? I mean, I he was, was geared up he was for in. that. That's the only thing he wanted, yep. the yep. only thing he did. Yep. He ran it solo, but so did yep. Aiden after yep. running the 4 by 8 Yeah, and exactly. And all but his teammate yes. and cousin for the entire field. Yeah, and had the fastest uh, 800 split. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive. Well, again, that's... That's a wrap on this. We uh, thank you for Arthur Thomas Properties and Runners Alley and Hoka, as always. Uh, it was a great day up here in Hanover. Great evening. Long ride home. Yeah. <laughs> o'clock. Uh, but that was good. Good stuff. Get, glad to be back. Yeah, so that's, that's a wrap on uh, track and field in New Hampshire for this winter. Catch everything at New England's. <laughs>